And we are live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Reserve here in Toledo, Ohio. It is Saturday night, which means one thing, a regular Joe Poker show here. This is a $500 buy-in. You can see the line up there on the screen. Everybody's buying in for $500. This is a 1-3, no limit hold'em cash game. And we've got a uh, full table. Well, one of our players still on the way here, but otherwise 10-handed. And this is a four-hour stream tonight. Starting things off a little bit uh, by myself. We've got uh, one heck of a tournament going on in the main room. It's become uh, very popular. We moved that start time to 3 o'clock, and it's a 10K in a day. And so uh, we're just waiting for some of that to dissipate so that uh, our good friend Nick, a.k.a. Nick, Tarantula Nick, can come in here and commentate with me. Until then, I'm going to fly solo. Our good friend Dominic off on a family affair. Having a great time, we hope. And, uh, well, we know. Dom has a great time no matter where he goes. So let's get started right away with the action here on Saturday night. First hand of the night, and we've got Nick, <laughs> speak of the devil, in the box dealing. And uh, get our graphics going here real quick. We've got uh, Guppy. So Bill with Jack-10 of Diamonds is uh, going to go up against uh, Frank, who's got King-Queen offsuit. And here comes the fir first flop of the night. And that is a 3-6-7. Frank's going to uh, bet this out. Let's see if Bill wants to make the call. And so the uh, first uh, hand of the night, it's going to go to Frank. And again, thanks everybody for joining us. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I'm uh, going to fly solo here for a little bit here tonight. Here at the Reserve in Toledo, Ohio. Our next live stream is going to be Tuesday, the 5-5-10 No Limit Hold'em Cash Game. Nine-handed, that is a $1,000 to $2,000 buy-in. We have that one booked out all the way into May. Of course, we're going to have our big three-year anniversary series coming up on April 19th through the 28th. Five events during that week culminating in a $250,000 prize pool guarantee tournament. That is a multi-day tournament. Go to the reservepoker.com and you can find all of the information, uh, not only in our regular tournaments, because we are open seven days a week, but also on our big events. And now Frank's going to open up here, raised to $12 with uh, eight, seven of clubs. Enright sneaking in there with Ace Jack, making the call. Andrew makes the call, and we're going to go three handed to the flop. And right on the window, there's an ace for Mr. Bob Enright. Frank's going to pick up a piece of this with bottom pair. But Enright bets it out. 30 bucks. Andrew gets out of the way back over to Frank. He's going to look up another card here. And now... The board pairs, so two pair here for Mr. Enright. Aces and nines, two diamonds on the board. Doesn't really affect anything. Frank now is going to check this. He's just got a one-outer here. See if Mr. Enright can get a little more money into this pot. So he's going to make a bet of 40 and a quick fold there from Frank. So Mr. Bob Enright taking down the second hand of the night. And we want to thank everybody for joining us. Todd, of course, got on there first to hit that like button. We appreciate it. And Buddha's dad, as usual, and that was one of the things that uh, Buddha mentioned uh, pregame. Make sure you do a shout out to my dad. I said, Buddha, we interact with your dad almost every time. He's on here. We love having him. Well, yeah, I just want to make sure we do a shout out. So the shout out to uh, Buddha's dad. Kiwi Colleen, thank you very much. Wayne, 
Even if in one of the racks, even if the, the other player, player doesn't mind, they even if they stuck it in there, there, it was it was one <laughs> yeah, extra. Some, yeah, yeah. Somehow or another, fit, you can't fit a lot to hurt. Mate. And if you joined us on one Thursday night, one that game played really big. It was a one-three no limit Hold'em right. cash game, but my goodness, played so much bigger than that. Is it moist though? That was a five-hour live stream tonight. We're going four hours. We appreciate everybody joining us and staying with us for that entire time. Denny getting out of the hand, but Andrew's going to raise this up. 10-8 of hearts. He's in position on the button. Makes it 12 bucks. Bill E. gets out of the way. We're going to go heads up. MGM Bob now has changed his name to Reserve Bob. Ace, King, Four, Rainbow Board. Reserve Bob in the lead right now. But Andrew's going to bet out. He's in position, and he was the preflop raiser, so a continuation bet with nothing but air, and he takes that down. Yep, uh, Bob said he's doing a shout-out to all of his uh, MGM buddies up there, the two five guys that he plays with. And they're the ones that started calling him Reserve Bob. So he has decided to change his handle. And uh, much appreciated, Bob, as well as uh, much warranted. Bob has become uh, pretty much a staple here on our live stream cash games. And also, it's Bob and Buddha that usually uh, give us quite a bit of banter here. Well, I got Pay an hour for, for the family. I got the rest of the day for you. <laughs> you know the difference between uh, people... And Otis comes back to us. Hasn't been in here for a while. People praying at the poker table. Under the gun now with pocket nines. He's going to raise it up to 15. Really mean it. <laughs> Mr. Enright coming in with an ace seven of hearts. Both of them shit talk afterwards, though. So does Buddha. Buddha coming along. Denny folds. Andrew out of the way. <coughs> Reserve Bob in position. Why not? Jack six of spades. Guppy says no thanks, so we're going to go four-handed to the flop. That was a good game. With, with those guys coming, those characters, it's going to be just like Thursday. Who's dealing? What's the game? couple of spades, 7-4, and the 10 of diamonds. Not a bad flop when you've got pocket nine, so he's going to continuation bet here, see where he's at. Make it 15. Mr. Enright picks up a piece of this. Middle pair with the ace kicker. Also with a seven is Buddha with an eight kicker. Now, reserve Bob, the only one with a flush draw, and he's announcing a raise. He puts 50 on top. Call Otis makes the call. <coughs> and he's going to get out of the way, as does Buddha. So now we're going to go heads up to the turn. Otis in the lead here by virtue of the nines. But a great drawing here, hand here for reserve Bob. And there's the spade. He hits the flush, gets the check mark, and a check from Otis. Bob reaching for chips. He's going to bet this, see if he can get a little more value in there, get some more. Lays it down. Otis wants to do a shout out to his wife, Misha. And even though he uh, lost that hand, he's uh, dedicating tonight. See if he can build up his chip stack so that he can uh, take uh, his wife out to dinner and contribute to uh, a haircut that she wants. So, gotta love the motivation here from Otis. Playing for his wife. Everybody starting tonight with $500.
they can uh, re-up to the 500 as they wish. The regular Joe Poker Show. And yes, Barb, uh, as you can see, Nick working hard. He's going to have uh, double duty here tonight. As soon as he gets cut loose, he's going to be here in the uh, booth with me. Good friend Dom. Spending time with family tonight. It's booked out several weeks now. And Bob's going to raise this up now with pocket eights. Make it 20 to go. Not much for Bill so far. Guppy gets out of the way with a weak ace. Now over to Frank. 6-5 of spades. He wants to look this up. Does this price Denny in with the 9-6 of hearts? And it does. So we got three players. And a lot of paint there. Ace, 10, Jack, two clubs. Continuation bet here of 30 from Bob and certainly going to go through. And he does show the pocket eights. Two hands in a row now for what formerly MGM Bob, now reserve Bob. So JF from Montreal, ten max, ten max. driving in the car, listening to the show. Yeah. Yeah, ten and ten Thank you yeah. very much. And yes, uh, happy Easter to everybody. The reserve will be closed tomorrow for the holiday. One of the few days throughout the year that we are not open. Here in Toledo, seven days a week. Go to the reservepoker.com. Find a tournament. We've got something for everybody here. No, that's why I say you threw three or four hundred away that one night. Sixty dollar straddles and shit. So Guppy playing position here. Sense of sub weakness, so he raises this up to twenty. I believe this was a $10 straddle here from Enright, so he's going to complete and come along. You know, and I'm stuck between both of them. And, uh, Bob just needs 10 to complete, and he does, so we're going to go three handed to the flop. Two hearts, ace, deuce, six. And really just virtue of the uh, king high. Bob in the lead, but Guppy started the uh, preflop aggression, and he's going to continue to represent here. He's got queen three, a.k.a. what we call here in Toledo, the Dorothy. And that aggression is going to pay off. My Facebook name is Pedro El Huto. Asked uh, Guppy if he had a shout out beforehand, and um, he wanted a shout out to uh, gentleman to his right, Bill E, to his left and his right pocket, and that got quite a reaction. Anyway, as much fun as these guys have, they're still here to win some money, and they're not shy about it. Hey, Chris, thanks for joining us here tonight. As I mentioned. Going solo for a little bit here until uh, Nick gets uh, cut from the uh, dealer rotation. We've got a uh, tournament going on tonight in the main room with a great turnout. Six tables. That's a $130 buy-in. It's a 10K guarantee. And since we changed the uh, start time to that to 3 o'clock on Saturday, we've been having a really good turnout. And tonight is no exception. Yeah, you've got to win a hand if they're not even going to tell them
And it looks like three callers so far. I'm just going to check his option. So we're going four-handed to the flop. Neil, uh, Concrete Dave will be in the uh, booth here on Tuesday night with Dominic. Checked around the twos. Yeah, everybody well, no, Enright and Buddha each with bottom pair. So a free card here to the turn. And a deuce now for Denny. Buddha wants to see where he's at here with the 10. And Denny's just going to smooth call this. Cool. 25, and here comes uh, Otis. Three-handed, here comes the river. Nine of hearts, no help for anybody else but Denny. Might not be a great card with that board out there. Somebody's got a jack, then they've got the straight, so sure enough, it's going to go to a showdown. And Denny's going to take down his first hand of the night. <laughs> He's going to profit $81, and Denny doing a shout-out to his wife and son. He wants to thank wife and son for letting him uh, come out and play here tonight. <laughs> Does oh, Buddha like ever take a day off? That's a good building. question. And well, no, I got ghost face. So this one. Who's the little kid there? So this is this is actually an evil elf on a shelf. Uh, I, it's a movie that I'm, I'm actually in. Besides playing here in our cash games three nights a week. I know Buddha plays uh, uh, no. around his hometown in some other games as well. After the uh, Ducks, now Denny's going to pick up pocket tens. Under the gun, he's going to raise it up to 15. Bob's going to come along with king, queen of clubs. Now Bill, been kind of quiet. Ace, queen, will he raise this up? Certainly he does, and now it's 55. Guppy gets out of the way. I'm the dad. I buy this elf and I bring home and it starts killing people. No, no, no. I live. Fifty-four here to complete this bet in the small blind for Bob Enright with seven five of clubs, and he likes these kind of suited, smaller hands. So two callers so far to Bill's raise. Bill's three bet, and here comes Bob. So we're going to go four-handed to the flop. Yeah. Because I, I, I do, dude, I love the, like the C, the C movies. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Just because they're so bad, oh my God. so cheesy. Yeah. You'll, you'll like it though. <laughs> it's right up your alley. All right. And here it comes. Genre. Rainbow board. Jack A6. Bill hitting the best of this with the ace queen. Not a great flop for tens. Denny checks it. And now Bill's going to bet out. Top pair queen kicker makes it 85. Mr. Enright really not hitting any of this. So Neil, Bob has changed his handle to the reserve or reserve Bob because he said that's what all the guys at the 2-5 uh, game up at MGM started calling him saying, uh, you play the reserve more now than you play the, M at the MGM. So he obliged, changed his handle. The artist formerly known as MGM Bob, now reserve Bob. 
Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. that's a long question. And Bill wanted to do a shout out, Bill E, who just took that pot down to his wife, Ann. Ann, if you're watching. Seems to be the theme. The other night, everybody was saying hello to their moms. Now it seems like uh, everybody's doing a shout out to their wives. Buddha, of course, almost every time a shout out to his wife, but also his dad. There's a button straddle from Enright. <laughs> bunch of folds so Frank in the cutoff going to take uh, try to take, take control of this situation and raise to 35 but here comes Enright with 9-4 speaking of uh, concrete Dave the cement mixer eight ten six two hearts I'm sorry six yeah eight ten six continuation bet coming out here from Frank Gut shot here for uh, Enright. Feeler bet of 22. The computer knows what's left there. So four outs for Mr. Enright. And that is not one of them. See if Frank slows down a little bit here. So a free card on the river. And a check from Frank. Frank has the check mark, but Enright makes the bet. Get your Buddha bucks and go. If you tell them it was my chips, they pay you two to one. <laughs> They're hard to get. Coming for rewards points. Great right. folds. Ooh. That was a real good fold because he has a flush 100%. 100%. Come on, Bobby Shaw. MGM Bob. We'll AKA Reserve Bob, Bob, doing what he can to wow. get wow. Bob Enright to show his hand. It takes a little more deception than that to get Bob Enright to show his hand. He might have had one extra heart, huh, Bob? <laughs> Good try, reserve, Bob. And now there's going to be a $10 straddle from Reserve Bob. This is a 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game. Four-hour live stream here tonight. Everybody buying in for 500 Right? Shush. I'm serious. When you're getting flushes, it's usually the bad sign. He's the last guy at the table you want to see with a big stack. Yeah, for sure. You'll win every other hand that way. He's got the chips. Four folds. He's a bully. What's your name, No. No. Bad, 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 raise, raise, raise. Call, 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 call. Yeah. <laughs> Get you out of hand. Bob raises to 40. And now a three bet from <coughs> Bob Enright to 40. Buddha with pocket jacks. And here comes the four bet to 80. Guppy's got that, uh, I was just kidding, kind of look on his face, but we'll see if he comes along. And he does. Got a pot brewing here. Pop calls 
three players. Two fifty four in the pot. Jacks versus sixes versus Queen ten. And it's eight four nine. Pretty good flop here for Jax. Gut shot for Guppy. And quick all in here from Buddha with the uh, straight draw and the uh, two hearts out there. He's going to want to shut this down. We know how you are with numbers. Yeah. We've seen how you did those tickets. Yeah. John, as soon as this uh, hand is up, we'll talk about that just a minute. John saying he's in town from New York, would like to play. He's, he's, he's allowed to say something. If he's in the hand, we can talk. All right. Got me Enright asking himself, does he do this? Is this a Buddha bet with uh, two draws, straight draw and a flush draw? Got to remember, Buddha's the one that four bet this. It should be verbal binding. It's only be three twenty six. He said all of them first. I'll stick up for him. I'm sticking for that guy in a four seat. <laughs> Three fifty one is correct. Bob way behind here, but wondering if all he has to beat is a draw. Would would Buddha make that uh, four bet with Ace King of Hearts? It's the only thing I can think. Uh, and might go be going through uh, Enright's head here. Yep, Neil, I understand it's only sixes. We talked about this uh, having this competitiveness. Bob Enright is one of those players that I would say has a very competitive edge to him. My goodness, he's going to make the call. He's not going to be happy with what he sees here. One out here so far. And here we go to the turn. And that is no help to Mr. Enright. He still needs a six and a six only, and it doesn't come. And the Jacks are going to hold up. And a nice pot here for Buddha. So Buddha now approaching uh, a double up here. He's uh, close to $1,000 after his $500 initial buy. And John, if you're in town and you want to come here and play at the reserve, um, first time to the reserve, you come in and you show us a uh, photo ID and we get you in the system and get you a, uh, a membership card, a player's card. And that is the only requirement. And if you want to play in the live stream, we are currently nine-handed. I don't have... Uh, we're on a 15-minute delay here, so I don't have any uh, current information on whether that seat is being filled. But if you want to, please call the reserve at 5105 Glendale Avenue in Toledo. We have uh, a couple people in the cage that can uh, answer the phone and answer your question. So please, give us a call. We appreciate your interest. Hey, Ricky, I really appreciate that comment. 
It was a pleasure uh, dealing to you last night. We had the uh, free roll last night. And uh, typically, uh, Tyler, who is uh, in the booth tonight, the wizard is in the booth. But Tyler has been kind of on a roll for that uh, free roll the last three weeks. And he won it again last night. We keep him busy three nights a week here in the uh, production office, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So when he gets the chance to play, he does. And yes, Neil, I am feeling much, much better on the men. It is just a cold, it's supposed to just last 10 days, right? So I'm coming up on uh, day 10 or 11 here, day 9 or 10, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, my wife now, not feeling very well. She finally felt uh, well enough. I made her a nice omelet and some toast this afternoon. But yeah, she's, uh, she's hurting right now. Wasn't fun. Frank going to three bet this now with King Six to uh, 85. And right after making that call with the sixes and re upping to 500, he is going to come out, come along with 8 7. And the reserve Bob also coming along. So 261 in the pot, and we are three handed. Here comes the flop from Nick. Two clubs, nine, four, six. And an open ender here. No, that's the straight. Bob Enright, after a disappointing hand last hand, now flops the straight. Tis the roller coaster of no limit hold in poker. From feast to famine in a blink of an eye, continuation bet here from Frank. He does hit middle pair, and he's got a runner runner flush draw. So he's going to put 105 out there, and this is just going to be a smooth call from Mr. Enright. How much you playing back there? Yeah, thank you, Smoothie. I appreciate that. We talked about that last night, and now another club. So Frank with the flush draw, and he's going to push all in. Back to back hands with Mr. Enright facing a, an all in. This time, of course, he's in much, much better shape after flopping the straight. He can't be happy about that uh, third club coming on the board. Got some ID there, son? Uh, no, not on me. Call me Graves. You're going to have to wait for it to come in the mail. And that seat is filling up. I'm going to have to check your ID. I'm not kidding. Yeah, call me Graves. So you check Graves me one time. Yeah. yeah. Old man, something like that. What are you talking about? Look at him. He's not even in shape yet. 251. You only got to be 18 to play in this room, Bob. Well, he's borderline, damn it. Look at him. You should have seen me when I was wearing my varsity jacket here. <laughs> And, and there's the call now Bob has to dodge five outs here the computer knows that uh, five of those four of those clubs are gone so it's just five outs and his uh, straight is going to hold up so a comeback hand here for Bob Henright after that uh, disappointing hand between he and Buddha Yeah, Colonel. Otis in the house. And here we go with our first dealer change of the night. Paul, a.k.a. Poison Arm Paul coming in. Pretty good flop for that hand. I like that a lot. You had to dodge some bullets. 
A few. I can't remember who it was now. That was forever ago. Straddle. Yeah. All right, so, that so Madden coming into uh, seat eight. Young man that's been on the uh, live stream before. We've also seen him in tournament live streams. No, we were just locked in, so we had a minute. A student that comes here to play on a regular basis has a real uh, passion for the game. Madden sits down right away to King Queen. Calls the $10 straddle. And now the option to Guppy with 7-6. And he's going to check his option. We're going to go six-handed to this flop and a king right in the window for the latest uh, player to the table. Madden got king-queen, but Bill with king-nine. Won't you come on with 200? All in. Yep. All in. Reserve Bob open-ended here. Nobody else really with a flush draw at this point other than runner, runner. And Madden right out of the gate. He's going to go all in. Is that my 25? No. Should. Sure. <laughs> Did that change your mind? Yeah, I would have been committed if that was my 25. Right <laughs> so that commits you for Yeah, nine. I agree, Colonel Otis, a very well, solid player. You know, I don't want to take, he might have his lunch What's an extra $25? My lunch money. Money. That's yeah, not yeah, between between friends. Friends. Did they win What's that? In my back pocket? How much you got? Sean, you ask What's a that? very good well, question. I'm going to address this as soon as that uh, <coughs> this hand is up. Talk. No, I only want him for two. He said, F you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I laid down for? No, I'm watching my wrist cost more than that, so it's fine. <laughs> no pre flop raise here from Madden. So, Bill, trying to figure out where he would be here. Is this just a flush draw? I don't believe uh, Bill has uh, posted very many hours with this young man. It's possible in tournaments they've played. But he's going to lay that down. Guppy. Gets out of the way. And the uh, young man, first hand, taken down, taken down the pot with king-queen offsuit. Sean, um, in, in, uh, as we started doing our live streams and we trying to figure out whether we wanted to have uh, certain nights have a certain feel or a certain theme to it, and uh, Saturdays really, it's a regular Joe poker show. We wanted to have a game at a, a level that uh, the regular poker player would appreciate. A 1-3 game, a $500 buy-in, a no match the stack. Something that the majority of the uh, poker players would appreciate. And that's where we came up with it. Thought we'd call it a regular Joe. Option. This is going to probably be the only one in there. And look at this. Our very first Battle of the Blinds. Bill getting a king again here. Guppy with the queen deuce. Another king on the board. And a bet of $6 here from Bill. And uh, he gets out of the way, and he does show the king. Yeah, Colonel. It's no longer MGM Bob. It is uh, the artist formerly known as MGM Bob is now Reserve Bob. He said that uh, all of his buddies in the 2-5 game up there at MGM in uh, Detroit started calling him Reserve Bob, saying, hey, you're spending more time with those guys down there in Toledo. We really ought to call you Reserve Bob, and then that's what they uh, started. So he's changed his handle. And uh, quite frankly, uh, we're honored. First time I played on stream, it was three months after I turned 18. 
<laughs> Madden still getting some uh, heat about his age, and yes, you only need to be 18 here to play at the reserve. I believe Madden is now around 20. He is a student at Bowling Green, Bowling Green University, just south here. And here comes Andrew with the uh, ace jack, and he's going to raise this up. Three bet this to 45. Reserve. Bob gets out of the way. And he is 19. The wizard just confirmed. So here we go. Three-handed. Going to the flop. Ace-Jack versus Ace-Jack. Buddha. With King-6. And there is two spades. And they're going to check it around. And here comes a free card. And now, gut shots for both Andrew and Bill. But King, the king helping Buddha out, and he's going to bet this. Looks like 75. No, 100. Putting the pressure on these two. Two spades and two diamonds out there. No flush draws for either of these players. Hey, Matt, I appreciate that feedback. Um, is it uh, my mic that's loud? Because I, I do appreciate that feedback. I always like to do a check here with folks. Make sure we've got the right levels so I can uh, adjust mine a little bit. Andrew had won a pot earlier, and I uh, was neglecting uh, doing his shout-out. He wanted to do a shout-out to his wife with a congratulations. She has a business called Hound Haven, which is a... Uh, a dog grooming business and we have a uh, city paper here in Toledo that every year does a best of Toledo and they just received the award for best in Toledo for the dog grooming business that she has so he's very proud of that and a big shout out to his wife Hound Haven I'll have to ask Bob if they took his uh, parking spot away from him. <coughs> Otis now. Yeah, we were just talking about Otis a little bit ago, and he's picking up in the small blind pocket aces after a three bet from Bill with pocket jacks to 75. Four bet, four bet pre -flop every time. Yeah. Otis is going to 4-bet this now to 185. Back over to Andrew, who raised with the Queen-9 of hearts, but he gets out of the way. This looks like this could be... Looks like it could be an all-in moment pre-flop. We'll see if Bill just makes the call. Everything. Take it. Start over, right? Leave me naked out in the middle of the street. Start right over. Well, 19 yeah. today or 19 right now? Back right now. Yeah, just right, right, right now. now. Yeah. Got this knowledge we have now and right. Oh, you want to do your good shit? I'll tell you that much. You need money more than anything. No, you get money. Keep going to school. That's how you get money. Or the old hard grind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I did. <coughs> Fuck, I'm happy with life. Well, you still call this called life lesson. Call it a life lesson. Yeah, that'd be strong. <laughs> like. Thanks, Colleen. Appreciate the feedback. Oh. Pardon the pun. Here we go now, heads up. Aces versus Jacks. Poison Arm Paul in the box, and it's King, 10, 7, 2 hearts. Life is very, 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 very short. First to act, Otis goes all in with the Aces. We didn't emphasize it enough. Especially when you have kids. Seems like time just flies. I was that age like 10 minutes ago. What happened? You ain't been that age in 50 years. Remember? Yeah, but it, 50 years went by like that. Like, where was I? I was here every day. It seems like I missed most of it. 
I know. I did. And there's the uh, pot going Otis's way. Otis uh, dedicating tonight to his wife so that he can take her out to uh, a nice dinner. You got more days behind you than you got ahead of you. That's uh, really what his motivation. What he's declared is his motivation is for tonight. And uh, V Dog, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're watching from the UK. Go faster and faster. And uh, just hearing into the headset here from the wizard that we do have a seat open. Uh, again, we're on a 15-minute delay here, so <laughs> please give us a call. The reserve here at Toledo, Ohio. Whoever picks up the phone there at the booth will be able to uh, answer your question if you're interested in coming in and playing in this live stream tonight. It's that simple, or really, any live stream. Of course, our Tuesday night 5510 currently booked up into May. Not everybody. Listen. This guy, you, he ain't folding. I don't fold. No coaching, Bob. Me. I'm no not coaching. coaching. I'm staying a fast. There's this is going to be uh, Bob against Bob. Oh, that's not coaching. Oh, and Denny's going to come along here with the 9-8. So Jack that's 6 for Enright. 9-8 for Denny and Ace 10. And here comes the flop. Ace right in the window along Check. with two fives. Check. Enright does pick up a flush draw. 75. Oh. What the fuck are you doing, I'm right? The question is, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not good Friday. Check. Check, check. Yeah. They don't like it, but... Uh, Reserve Bob hitting the uh, full house check. and check, check, and see if he can get a little more money into this pot. What did he win? Oh. Hey, Sam Bob. Thank you. Got lucky on the turn. No. Yeah, you did. Jack. No, I didn't. Bob had a five, you dummy. He didn't have a five. He did. No chance. No chance. You, you had never eight. played. Right. But there's no way he's going to swoop call mm -hmm. five there. Uh, seven times. This Tuesday night, our 5-5-10 No Limit Holdout Cash Game, we've got a special guest coming in, Concrete Dave. Going to be in the booth here with Dominic. And at some point, Nick Tarantula Nick will be uh, joining me here tonight. I'm in here by myself uh, basically because of the su success of tonight's uh, tournament. All hands on deck. Great turnout. Change that time frame to uh, th start start time to 3 p.m. It's a ten thousand dollar prize pool guarantee tournament. They just drew it. And she ain't heading over here. So. What? Oh, yeah. they just drew the Queen of Hearts. Every Saturday night, there's a Queen of Hearts. You can buy uh, she don't know where tickets she dollar a piece. Table name number down. No, she's coming in here. Oh, it might be someone in here. Oh, oh my God. Uh -oh. Right. Maybe she, 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 in here. Yeah. she walked right by. Yeah. Reserve so Bob, Pocket Jacks, oh. raises it up to 75. Yeah, Enright coming along with two oh. Oh, man, I told you. Wait, Blue Dot, I'm, I'm picking this time. I'm, I'm picking this time. Yeah. 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 Actually, they, they pulled uh, <laughs> their yeah. purchases yeah. here tonight. So oh, Buddha is going to, for Reserve Bob, go out and pull a card on the Queen of Hearts. In the meantime, 6, 8, 10, two spades That's out here. And the Pocket Jack still in a commanding lead. 175? Bob bets it. That's what Everybody quickly folds. What number are you going to take? 
And uh, Bob's going to go out there and draw his uh, card out there for the Queen of Hearts. That's the other special thing about Saturday nights here is uh, every Saturday night we do the Queen of Hearts drawing. <laughs> he steps out into the room to resounding booze. Everybody wanted their, uh, their coupon drawn. Coupon, sorry, Neil. Coupon. And there we go. A great shot. Marissa lowers down the uh, front screen of the Queen of Hearts. Bob now choosing, choosing, choosing. Does he get the Queen of Hearts? He draws a card. Did he drop it? Nope. And it's the seven of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He got food on the way out. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Boo, boo, boo. They know it's fixed. So I'm going to get that queen. That's the third time they broke it. They really bullied you. Turn around the button. This is a family environment here. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it is. That's why they boom. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy, the Queen of Hearts has a uh, running tally to it. Uh, Wizard, whisper in my ear and tell me where the number is right now. It's around 4,000. Yeah. So right around 4,300, and it uh, keeps going until somebody hits it. There are a number of ways to win, a couple of other ways to win, but basically... You uh, buy a uh, coupon for a dollar, put your name on it, or you can buy 20 or you can buy 40. It goes into the drum. The drum gets spun around, spun around, and in there, draw, we draw it out. And if your name is drawn, then you get to go up and uh, pull a card from the board. If it's the Queen of Hearts, then uh, you take down the entire pot. And look at this now. My goodness. Pocket Kings and Enright flops another straight here king jack aka check. the nemesis check. and he's going to check this and bob's going to bet his kings here 125 bob enright aka mr enright 125 <laughs> And he's going to raise this up to 375. Denny quickly gets out of the way. And again, reserve Bob trying to get Mr. Enright to show. And he does show this time. And he shows the straight, the wheel. Don't be a hater. No, I'm not. I'm talking to a friend here. I'm saying jealous. Yeah, Dave, uh, in defense of uh, Reserve Bob, apparently they changed his nickname up there um, to Reserve Bob. So that's a gray area, I understand. But yes, uh, choosing your own nickname isn't always uh, cricket. But he's been on a run of cards right now. King 10 on diamonds, and he's going to raise it up to 20. King Jack, and I got kings. You know how you're like 3%. Otis oh. now. You act like you don't want the action. Coming along yeah, with uh, Ace action. Jack. You know it's all on the flop, Bob. I know, but you're so yeah. far behind there. Well, you can't win them all. I just want to win once in a while against she, you. You won three out of four. Not against you. I ain't winning yeah, against have. you. Bob, 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 Bob. There's other money <laughs> in the table now. Bob, 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 Nine. Four diamonds, really no help for anybody here. Otis, going to bet this out. Ace Jack. He's got a gut shot. 
Buda has an eight, but he lets it go. And that aggression is going to pay off for Otis here, and he's going to take down another pot. Yeah, let's, let's double up what he was saying. Another bribe. Any more bribes coming in? You want to win a hand? Oh, last night uh, it was Tyler that won. Tyler, a.k.a. we call him the chosen one. He is uh, typically our producer. For our live stream performances here, back in the booth, keeping all the uh, keeping the show rolling tonight. Got the night off, so we've got uh, the wizard, Jim K, back there. And Otis now pocket fours. Ten dollars to call, and he's going to make the call. Frank's been a little quiet lately. He got felted in a big hand, but now he's going to come in with king queen, and I believe he's going to raise this up. And he does. Makes it forty. Madden, who won his very first hand of the night when he sat down, going to come along with eight six of clubs. Same hand for Mr. Enright as Frank King Queen. On the button for Buddha. Out of the way with the King Deuce. Denny, I think he's getting a little anxious here. Has not played many hands. Wants to be a part of this. And now back over to the artist formerly known as MGM Bob, Pocket Sevens. It's his first time. He's announced a raise. <laughs> I think he has. I believe he's going to raise. Just a matter of how much. 240. 240. And he makes it 240. I'm not hitting anymore. I'm not hitting no more. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not hitting no fucking more. I've only got a couple left. Yeah. Less. Frank, gonna push all in here with the king queen. Oh. Quick fold from Matt Madden and a quick fold here from Mr. Enright. Oh. And this is going to be uh, heads up. So Paul, taking the time, make sure we get this pot right. All chips in the middle, all cards in the middle. The all-in from the king-queen. We saw a king-queen folded by Mr. Enright and a king folded by Buddha. And now ace, two, three, no help. Now there's some uh, chopping outs as well as all he needs is a queen to win. Thanks, Jim. And I think that's going to be it for Frank, and that's the seat that's open. So please, if you are interested in playing here tonight, our live stream going till 10:15. <laughs> we may uh, broadcast to a certain hour, but then the game oftentimes continues to go on, sometimes till the wee hours in the morning. I want to thank everybody for joining us. We are the Reserve in Toledo, Ohio. I was suited at least. Go to thereserveposter.com because man, we've got some great things coming your way. Big, big hit tonight. Well, Fifteen total. Eight for the next one too. Fifteen total. Just remind me next time. I don't have to tell. Bill's under the gun with King Ten of Hearts, and he's going to raise this up. And now, Madden coming along, but Mr. Enright pocket aces. And here comes the three bet. Sixty-five is the new bet. Boy, just uh, seat one and seat two. Just not seeing any cards here. And the kid, Madden, 19 years old, student at Bowling Green State University.
just south of us. He's going to get out of there. So now we're heads up. Oh, boy. Seven, four, eight. Bill checks it to Mr. Enright. He does have... Bill's got the uh, flush draw here. And a bet of 80 from Enright. Certainly callable here. What it tastes like. Oh, I remember Five outs here for Bill. See if he wants to uh, look up one more card. So Bill pulls the trigger on this and goes all in. Three oh two. Three oh two is the bet. Two twenty two for Mr. Enright if he wants to make this call. Mr. Enright has been involved now I think in three, four hands where there's an all in. Pocket Aces makes the call and here we go. Flush draw versus Pocket Aces. And if, an, if a heart comes, Bill does not want to see another heart. This time it's the Jack of Diamonds and still, oh my, and uh, the Aces are going to hold up here. And this game for a regular Joe Poker Show on Saturday night, 1-3 No Limit Hold'em Cash Game, $500 buy-in, is starting to heat up. Hey, you know what my dad would say? Don't never spoil a good motion, boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seven of clubs, right, Bob? I'll make sure to get in there. Seven of clubs? Yeah, that's right. Eight four of them. Who said? Why do you get something for that? Like seven no, they're going, it's going live. Seven, eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're going to all. We don't have any of them. 25 total. Let's go from aces to ace ten. You want to win a lot of pots? A raise to twenty five from Guppy with the pocket eights. <coughs> and I got to believe Mr. Enright's VPIP here is uh, probably on the top of the list here. He has been involved in practically every hand. And he's been involved in a couple of big hands, action hands. Now nines. Pretty sure Nickelodeon's gotten a lot of trouble for this. For the other Bob, and he's going to complete in the small blind. So now we're going to go three-handed to the flop. We've got nines versus eights versus ace ten. Here comes the flop. Turns out there's actually rainbow board two three five. Pocket nines still in the lead here. He's going to check it. Guppy is going to continuation bet here. Seventy five. Bob Enright with the gut shot. And two overs against the nines and the eights. We have the courtesy of being able to see these cards, so we know that. Prep is the worst part. The day before, you got to starve yourself. You know, they've been telling people for years you can't eat anything, and it's just horrible going all day long without eating anything. Because if you put out a list, they'll screw it up. 
Go ahead. That's that's what it is. Yeah. Exactly right. That's what you already want. Well, I thought it was screaming after this person. So they just tell you nothing. Yeah, I believe this was uh, Bob's intention all along was to uh, check raise this, regardless of whether uh, Bob Enright came in or not. No, I got the best hand, hundred percent. What do you got? Want me to show you one? Oh, well, sure he does. Yes. Yes. Count of three, we'll each turn over a pair. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I don't want to see yours. I got you beat. What do I have? Uh, just a matter. I got you beat. <coughs> so if you want to put it all in, we put it all in. I kind of do. Uh -huh. Let's go. Oh, no. It's only 300. <laughs> a tough talk out of three seat. I mean, this guy plays with Real two talk. five grand. <coughs> that's that's A lot of tough talk. Yeah. A lot of two five five players have, have trouble adjusting down to the yeah. yeah. level of the game. They, they just say, wow, only three. Overpair? I was asking myself, I'm just trying to get overpair. You got overpair? <laughs> he wishes he did. But if you ain't got overpair, save your money. Because I got overpair. All right. Good tabletop. You got sevens again? No, I can beat sevens. <laughs> Why don't you just tell him? No, I, 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 I know he doesn't want to call. Show me what he's got. Calls. Okay, good calls. For me. Wow. I, I call you both. I had three of you. So they're going to get it all in here. Poison. After some uh, debate and discussion, and an eight and eight only will save uh, Guppy, but nope. The nines hold up. Get in there. I'm waiting for you to throw that 75. I'm waiting for you to put the 75. I'm pushing. You know I'm pushing. No question. I had a nice hand, too. When that flop comes. And Fonzie on here rooting for Otis. Otis has got a cheering section here tonight. Nice hand, Robert. Thank you. And a uh, certain amount of pushback here now from uh, the nickname reserve, Bob. Nice stuff. What about uh, instead of reserve reservoir, and what about reservoir dog Bob or something like that? Would that be acceptable? I would have went all in. I wouldn't have said it. I would have went all in. You get some change. Bob, you want to get some change? Madden's got a cheering section as well. When you asked me Buddha now picking up a pair, I pocket fives. Saw him earlier felting uh, Frank, I think it was. So he's up around a thousand. And now sevens. Boy, the pairs have just been coming. And he may just say it's because of his new nickname. I'm going to have to get a chip stack. Just get busy stacking your chips. I'll just bring a gun. At least 20 cents. Just bring a gun. 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 So after a three bet to 30 from Bob, here we are three handed going to the flop. And two hearts, king, ten, and a six of spades. 60 total. And the sevens still in the lead here. Continuation bet here from Buddha. Representing, and it may be uh, enough, and he does. And you know he likes to show whether it's win, lose, or draw, and he shows the fives. Big enough for you, Bob? We're getting the jaw drop here from, uh, from Bob. Beer nuts down there in the three seat. Yeah, flip them off, Bob. Come on, I'm fucking in all in every fucking other hand. You're telling me to grow a pair? Do you know how bad that sounds on the screen? When people are thinking, what game is he playing in? Got a guy playing every hand, he's calling them beer nuts. Can you get the three seat to give Wait us a little second. piece for just about the five minutes? Wait a second. Just five minutes of quiet out of three seat. That's all I'm asking for. Just not knowing. Take it easy. C3 is right. carrying the stream. Crushed there. He's a star. He's got a dresser. Oh yeah. Star is the world. Three dollars. Yeah, like that's gonna make it. <laughs> Here comes Andrew now. Been quiet for a while. King Queen. Gonna raise it up to twenty. 
Bob coming along with uh, a little ace, ace deuce. Bill with a couple of diamonds. And here comes Otis now. 120. 120. Making the call with ace jack. And Buddha with ace five, and he's going to three bet this to 120. He's putting the pressure on. He senses some weakness. Three of these players already with an ace in their hand. Andrew folds. Otis with the better ace. And Buddha gets some really good, uh, or, uh, some hands, gets a bunch of hands out of this pot with that raise. And he's going to show. Nope, doesn't show this time. Jenny rooting for Otis. <laughs> Barbecue Otis. I'm not I like it. Next time, don't worry. When I hear you deserve it. <laughs> well, I'm not allowed to bluff one. Everybody gets mad at me when I bluff. Everybody else gets to bluff when I bluff. I get the, I get the stink guy from half the table when I Yeah, bluff. Dave on uh, Thursday. So here we go with the payouts for tonight. This is a 10K monster stack. $130 buy-in. We're paying out top eight tonight after a total of 60 entrants. Denny now ace jack of diamonds. He's gonna raise this up to 15. And another pair here for Bob. And this time suited ace queen for Otis and here comes a raise. Going to take it up to 40 with a 3-bet. Madden out of the way. Denny, snap call. And see if Guppy... Yep, Guppy's going to look this up here with 2-3 of hearts. So we're going to be four-handed Guppy with one of Bob's deuces. Ace right in the window. First to act here. 85. 85, you said. Two pair for Otis, ace queen. And he's going to bet 85. 200. And now a raise from Denny to 200. Where are you going, Nick? I had one eight rounds. No, I was supposed to double sign in there. Someone did it for me. Well, I can see that I'm going to be in here for a little while longer without uh, Nick tonight. He's coming into, uh, oh, maybe not. Yeah. You got the 200 part, right? So now we've got a pot of 563. Third spade. See how that plays out here. Two pair for Denny. Two pair for Otis. And an all-in after a check from Otis. Otis cannot like this spade showing up. Little does he know that he is in the lead here. You know, the other night on the stream it showed me folding a royal flush draw. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. cards were wrong. Oh, that fuck, yeah. He is a uh, six to yeah, one favorite said, or better, but he lays it down. It showed that, you know, I played the hand down. Or did you have Ace King the prior hand? Because yeah. it, it thinks you, I might have because it was spades. I thought I had Ace King. I don't remember. I didn't go back. But and I a big so pot there for Denny. And here are our chip leaders. Hand, yeah. Everybody started with 500. Enright had re-upped. So he is up 400. Bob 
up 800, and Buddha up 700, and Denny now goes above his starting stack. He was down a couple grand at the end. But he had won $5,000 previous week. We did see uh, Frank earlier in uh, seat seven getting felted twice, and that was the end of uh, his night. And now Madden has he's come winning, in. He's a force to be reckoned with. And I believe we've got a uh, player here on the comments saying that he's on his way in. Gene Wilson. Yeah, Colonel, that was a tough spot for Otis. Oh, he just got the glare from the iron worker, Mr. Enright. And look at this. My goodness. Who doesn't like seeing a pot start out with nine-handed going to the flop? Check. Excuse me, eight-handed. 25. So we're going to go heads up here. 7 6 of clubs versus 9 7 of hearts. Check, check, free on. card. Like, oh, oh, now you want to throw a bet out there. <laughs> Go on. And he just counts the chips up in front of him, and that's enough to get uh, Reserve Bob to uh, lay down the best hand. <laughs> Where you going to cash at? Whatever you want to do. Yours till it's nine. Uh, two fifty. Don't get hairs like you. <laughs> I know. I see you show me every time. <laughs> well, Buck, I know, but it's still early. We are going till uh, ten fifteen here tonight. We're not quite two hours into the live stream. I want to thank everybody for joining us. And thank you, uh, Kiwi Colleen, and some of the other folks for trying to remind everybody to make sure to hit that like button. It uh, helps us out quite a bit, as well as uh, subscribing. And when you do subscribe, make sure to hit that uh, bell. We've got some big events coming up. We could be seeing some uh, not regularly scheduled live streams and if you've hit that bell you're going to get a notification go to the reserve and you'll see what I'm talking about we'll talk about that a little bit more as the evening goes on here we go three handed 124 in the pot, sevens versus king five versus eights. And Bob's going to hit a flush draw. The eights for Bill are still in the lead. Andrew checks his sevens. Did you I checked. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. And Bob didn't realize he was still in the game. Nice card here for Bill if he thought he was ahead with the eights. He's going to want to really uh, keep the pressure on. 
He bets, but a snap call here from Bob. Check. Check. And they're going to check it down to showdown, and Bill is going to take this down with the eights. Tracy in Madrid. Hope your travels go well. Thank you very much for uh, joining us, and thank you, everybody. Next live stream will be on Tuesday night. That's a five-hour live stream. It's 5 5 10, No Limit Hold'em Cash Game. Just seems to get bigger every week. Lots of action. And a special guest in the booth this week. Concrete Dave going to be in here with Dominic. Real, real, real shitty play there, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, just, be a, that's just be a thing. Now. $10 button straddle, fold, fold. And Andrew, ace, queen of clubs, is going to raise snap call with the nines from Bob. Pairs after pair after pair for Bob tonight. Guppy. Got felt it a little earlier. His uh, sevens versus eights with Bob. Or was it eights versus nines? Now, speaking of pairs, here's Mr. Enright with pocket tens. Did the uh, button straddle. He needs 20 to complete, and he does. Yes, that sounds like a little surprise in my voice. You're right. Here we go, three-handed to the flop. Two, nine, four, and a couple of clubs. Good-looking flop there for Andrew. However, 35. Bob has hit a set of nines. Continuation bet here from Andrew of 35. And just a call. And here comes a call from... Nope. Here comes a raise from Mr. Enright, who believes that his tens on a board like that are in the lead. So he's going to raise it up to one, 185, 150 here for Andrew to call. And if he's not, he ought to be concerned about the other Bob to his left. And Andrew's going to go ahead and push all in. Sometimes I'm like, what is Buddha doing? <laughs> I roll home. I, what I, I'm doing is text messages making stuff. decisions yeah, with incomplete information. <laughs> yeah, what an action <laughs> flop. <laughs> an action <laughs> hand here. <laughs> call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. <laughs> Gotta like this action here. And a call here from Bob, hoping that Bob Enright will come along because we've got a pot of brewing here. Almost a thousand so far. another thing that happens is. We pick up on little slight tells, like players will pre-act, and you know I'll, I'll check a hand. Normally I'm going to bet it, mm -hmm. but I see the guy loading up next to me. I'm just going to check, let him bet, and then depending on how much he bets, then make a decision. Yep. You know, and then people are wondering, how do you check there? You know, what did you bet? I'm like, because the guy to my left is loading up with chips. Yeah, and you don't see it. You only saw the one angle. Right, they miss a whole lot. Like I said, yeah, but poker, poker's so much more than just the cards. Yeah, I remember that when you look at that. Henry, you called too, eh? It's all situational. Yeah. Ooh, man. And, and, you know, even a glance Hey, Brandy, thanks for joining us. And here we go. 1,200 in the pot, five of diamonds. And here comes an all in here from. What you got, Bob? Reserve Bob. Five of diamonds, no help, and no help to uh, Andrew, although Andrew does now pick up a gut shot straight draw. Set of nines here for reserve Bob. So bad, Vic calling all this action by himself. No, he don't even talk when we play. 
Oh, what was that? What did I say it was? Yeah, it looks like it's close. Pull $5 out here. He says, what are you playing? Well, six dollars I don't know what I'm playing. It's binding. Yeah, it's binding. Pull another $5 out your wallet, brother. I'm quit yelling at people. You're hurting your feelings. Sorry, Bill. I got you, buddy. Thanks. I need out. Kind of the timid type. I'm <laughs> I'll block him when he's being mean. He'll take care of me. Got you, man. Get some rock'em sock'em going on. Bob needs uh, Bob Enright needs 695 here to make the call. Looks like he's counting it out. He verifies the amount with Daniel. And he makes the call. Wow. I'm writing this one down. This is so far the uh, pot of the night. 2,500 in the pot. Oh, my goodness. I got to dodge a club. I knew it. You've got to dodge a club. You've got to dodge a three. You've got to dodge a ten. That's the sign? Yes. Fuck, I don't care if you hit a club. Wow. Yes, you do. You want it all. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't, I'd rather see a club than a fucking 10. How's How's that? Like that? And we've got a side <laughs> pot here. <laughs> Danielson doing a great job. Look at that view. And here comes the river. And it is a rag. Nothing there. And the set of nines is going to hold up in a $2,500 pot, $1,500 profit. Going Bob's way here. And the game is heating up. 1 3, no limit hold'em, $500 buy in. And if you're uh, cheering section for Otis, you've got to like this action because the uh, more money that comes on to the table, the better shot as a uh, player has of uh, making a comeback. Otis down a little bit, Guppy down. Andrew is going to re up here. Denny kind of holding his own. Bill in a profit. Buddha in a profit margin right now. And I believe we've got another player coming in here shortly. We are currently nine handed on Saturday nights for our four hour live stream here on YouTube. We like to be uh, ten handed. We did uh, lose. A couple pl or a player earlier got felted twice. <laughs> a regular Joe poker show. And Guppy, things have been pretty quiet for him. He's going to call the ten dollar straddle with King Ten of Clubs, and now over to Otis. Not nothing there. Nine four of diamonds. Young 19 year old Madden here from Bowling Green State University. Gonna limp in with the uh, King A of Spades. And Bob. If you want to play with Bob now, you're gonna have to pay. You just want a two thousand dollar pot and let's hit a one three. <laughs> So can you call me up uh, Uber, please? I gotta get out of here. Why don't we honestly do this? Call me the Uber. No, I'm not. I'm not wrecking. No, no, no one else. No, no. I mean, get five hundred and green. Get rid of some of the wreck. No, no, that's bad luck. Government. You don't want to do a stack of green? Okay. Uh, no, you just want to put your shit over. The Guppy gets out of the way, and so does Madden. So Enright. That aggression pays off, and he takes down some dead money there. And there you see the numbers, 2,500 for Bob Buddha at 1,200. Bill just above his uh, starting stack, as is Denny. Andrew re-upping here with another 500. Guppy had to add to his stack after uh, losing a big hand to Bob. Otis trying to build up some chips here. Dedicating tonight to his wife. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Here you go. Appreciate the good dealing. 
and there's a two dollar tip thank you very very much we appreciate that 20 20 There's a raise from Guppy again to 20, this time with Queen Jack. Enright's just going to make the call with 8-9. Bob, with a mountain of chips in front of him, makes the call. And here we go, three-handed to the flop. Six, seven, nine. And look at Mr. Enright, top pair with a straight draw. And reser reserve Bob now, middle pair with the jack kicker, needs 50 to call. he's ignoring you. Hey, Colleen, yeah, if you want to ask me a question. You know, uh, usually I wear uh, my heart on my sleeve. Room, man. Come on. Well, I mean, I can figure out then. You must have been scared. Answer, uh, try to answer whatever you ask me here. In the meantime, finally going to have some company in here after being by myself for a couple of hours. And welp welcoming Nick. I guess that you're still awake. There was some action in here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for leaving you by yourself for so long. We were pretty busy out there. Yes, and that's a good problem to have. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 10K in a day starting at 3 p.m. It's been a really popular tournament. Three to go. Haven't had a hand in now. Too close or close enough? This guy, this dealer here, 15, he's on. He's going to be here too long. Say that again, Wizard. Anyway, back to the action here. Oh, okay. Going to get an adjustment here on yeah. Nick's headset so that everybody can hear him. Yeah, still new, still new to this. Needed a quick adjustment. Five players to this flop. Ace, Jack, five, two clubs. Guppy takes the lead. Then he's not far behind with this flush draw. 30. 30. Right here. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. You're still not respecting me, man. Food is all right. Enright's going to come yeah, along cool. with his jacks. Denny is going nowhere with the folks. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Yeah, yeah. Call. Guppy, two pair. Yes, and just making the call here. Nick? Yeah, surprised to see that with uh, the two clubs on board. You got Absolute. a Broadway draw. Yeah. And look at that. Otis takes the lead with his two pair. I mean, a $30 bet, almost like a free card. Really. It really was, yeah. 55. Now he decides to bet. And, Nick, we've got quite a cheering section out there for Otis tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sounds oh. like a whole house party going on someplace. Yeah, I got to deal to him for a few minutes there. Uh, I I wasn't familiar with him before that, but... Okay. Let's see how he handles this. Here comes uh, Mr. Enright. Got a piece of this with the jack. But clear lead here for Otis going to the river. And the seven might get Denny in trouble here. He has two pair. Three players here with two pair. Six pairs between, between, between the three of them. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, Denny missed his clubs. It's a running two pair, and I think it's going to get him in trouble. Well, and Guppy might bet big here. I was thinking bigger than that, but might be thinking that there was uh, straight draws and flush draws that weren't. So a bet of 110. Then an all-in behind him. And an all-in and a call. Three-way all-in. Wow, a three-way all-in, and this is the uh, cheering section for Otis. That th This is what they've been waiting for. Yeah, the chat is just going to love that. Big hand, and now Otis getting up close to 1,000. 
Got a new player coming in? New player. Dominic likes to call him Mr. Pepsi. So we lost Frank there. I missed that. And the chat board lights up after that hand. Just getting caught up on these chip counts. It's been a while since I could tune in. And Bob's having a night. Buddha not far behind him. Yes. Otis almost uh, almost to a thousand now. Nine got a little work to do. I think Bill might have re up for a little bit. Okay. Uh, but I'm not sure. I think that is profit for him above the five hundred. Where's it hung? Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. Otis too busy stacking his chips. Yeah. Looks down at his night eight, gonna let it go. It's a nice distraction to have. Never Matt. play a pot who's never play a pot with someone still ch stacking their chips. <laughs> <laughs> now Denny, still feeling the sting from the last hand, picks up Ace King, and he's going to raise to 25. And reserve Bob 2,500. Why not? He's going to take a shot. Get You're in, in there. position and uh, big stack here. So two four of diamonds. Like if Madden comes in, his diamonds will be covered. And here we go. Oh boy. Action flop. Action flop. Everybody catches a piece. Madden, yes. Madden with the flush draw. Enright with the gutter ball. Denny with top pair. And we can see reserve Bob. His flush draw no good. So Call. Madden's going to bet this out. Call. And I don't see anyone going anywhere. We might see a raise here from Bob. Just a call. Call. It's been an interesting turn. <coughs> and we still four-handed. Six of club gives Madden a pair along with his flush draw. Doesn't change anything else. Denny knows he's likely good now, but his hand does need some protection. Goes large. 150 is the wager. Curious to see what Bob does here. Four players in the pot. He's going to look it up. Wow. He is looking this up. Young Madden here. If I remember correctly, Madden only bought in for 200, so he's showing a little bit of a profit. Call. And he does a pre-tip first of a buck, and then makes the call. Little bribery. Like to see it. And Wright's going to let his gut oh, shot go. Would have been drawn to any queen but the queen of diamonds. And that is no help. Denny getting the check mark here. Check. And as soon as this hand concludes, I want to ask you something about the way Madden bet early on in this hand. Unfortunately, I think Denny, if he wanted to get that all in, called, he would have had to do that on the turn. Yeah. So on the flop, first to act, and Madden's got the uh, flush draw, and he puts a bet out. I think it was 30 or 35, something like that. And um, well, I guess I'm asking if I'm right or wrong here, but 
I will do that with my flush draw early on in early position. I've got three or four people behind me because I'm trying to control the action. I'm trying to slow it down, right? Instead of checking and, and then having to face a bet of 60 or 75. Sure. I'm trying to set that pace. Um, I don't have a made hand yet. Kind of a blocker bet. Yeah, that's a blocker bet. You know, that can be effective. I don't like it with the seven high flush draw like Madden had. Yeah. Because uh, if he gets a big raise from someone behind him, he's put in a really tough spot there. And if the raise is big enough, he's got to fold his flush draw. He's not able to realize that equity. So, you know, if you got a... a if you have the nut flush draw, I'm a big fan of that bet because you're not you're not folding regardless of what happens behind you. Yeah. But with the seven high, you're you're gonna open yourself up to some really tough spots if you get raised. Guppy with the ace king this time. Brain gets smaller as they get married. $10, what did he say? The brain gets smaller. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. I was trying to. Something got bigger. I was trying to lean in as if that would help me hear him, and I still didn't pick it up. One twenty-five. Got a big raise here at 125. Well, he's had a pretty frustrating evening so far. Let's see if this can help him get on the right side of even. And suited cards here again for Madden. Not getting oh. the right price to see that. No. Enright doesn't oh. care, though. He, he doesn't did. care. This is a man who loves to play poker, loves the action. I think he lives for it. Yeah. Then he's going to fold the shimmy. Back to Bob. Has the stack to gamble. We can see if he chooses to. He's going to be way behind. Here goes the winner. Makes a disciplined fold. Oh, there's a correction there on Enright's cards. This is a king six of spades. And Guppy all in now. Ace right on the flop. And a quick fold there, I believe, from Mr. Enright. So Guppy trying to make a comeback here. Having a tough night so far. But that's a good way to get your momentum changing. That's all it takes is one hand. Yeah. Trying to switch the, the flow of the table. He really benefited from that large pre flop raise. Getting the dead money. He ain't raising that much really good. Got Eddie coming in. And dealer change. Here comes Eddie. Typically, that prompts uh, some type of comment from Mr. Coffee, Neil Brinkman. <laughs> Neil in the chat tonight? He was earlier. You know, he watches on the Lazy Boy chair, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure he dozes off from time to time. Can't blame him. Until he, he says he normally really watches with a drink in hand, too. Yeah. I didn't think Never again, that's right. Hey, y'all, what you have there? $10 Got 96 people on the message board, only 46 likes. Make sure we are hitting that thumbs up button. Helps us out a ton. Gets us that random YouTube traffic. Bob with an ace going to raise it up to $23. We haven't well, seen too many of those odd ten. number bets here tonight. Pretty much old. rounded up to five or ten. Make it easy on the dealer. Absolutely. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> I will. I will say <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't that I wasn't going to say it, but that's really what <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> Bob comes along with his 2-4 again. This Gene. time it's hearts. Mr. Pepsi coming along, so we're going to go four-handed to the flop. Ten, ace, nine, two clubs. Enright going to bet out. Looks like he went pretty big. No. No. 
Denny has to let his nine go. Big. No kidding. Yeah. All in. And uh, no action there. So he takes down that pot. $70 profit. Gets Bob back on his way. So you're getting called out. Uh-oh. Yep. For your power hour. We're still a, while, a little ways away. You've been running all over the place dealing, helping out on the floor. You need to catch your breath, get your composure, because I know you can do it. We still got some time, so uh, still let, some me, time. let me uh, gather yourself. Yeah. I was so mad at Dom that night. You'd build it up all night. Build it up. <laughs> like I could not have passed that test. It was the bar was too high. Uh, of course, you got C four in the game. It's always going to be a big game. C three, or four? Well, if we continue to see the action that we've seen so far tonight, believe me, your juices are going to get flowing because it's I been sure a fun so. table. I sure hope so. We uh, we were so busy out there that kind of just. I was excited to get in here, so yeah. got Bill with the raise with King Queen suited up to thirty. Gene trying to get something going here. He comes along with uh, Ace Five, Mr. Enright. Never says no to a nice party. So four-handed going to the flop. Four, five, nine, all spades. Bob bets out for 75 with his nine and a seven of spades to go with it. You can see Gene has the ace of spades. I think Bob is likely to get some action here. Yeah, Bob with a pair and, like you say, the top spade yeah. draw. The board pairs now. Bob's got to love to see that. How many black you got? Two. I think that's a good size. If he goes too big with the paired board, he can force Gene out of there. I think that's a good sizing. He also knows who, who he's up against here with Gene. Um, Gene typically plays without without much fear. Yeah, I, haven't, I, I don't think I've interacted with Gene too often. Nine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, Let's go check, check on the river there. Yeah. And Bob's going to bring in a $623 pot. Yeah. Good. So we have a uh, 15 minute hit delay here. I'm not sure if you're Jenny, if your uh, question was answered. But what Nick and I are seeing here happened 15 minutes ago, but we are seeing it as you're seeing it. And also with the cards having a chip in them and every player with a rectangle in front of them, there's a chip reader there. We are seeing what the players have um, before anybody else. So even the production in the production office, um, whoever's in there is not seeing that. That happens, that comes up on the screen on a 15 minute delay. On top of that, all of the players are required to leave their phones and smartwatches up on a shelf with the uh, ringers off. Where we come up with what we like to call unadulterated poker. This is not edited. This is coming to you as it happens. Right, let them live. Let live, Just Frank. 15 minutes later. Absolutely, yeah. We are we are seeing this just as you guys are commentating, just at, just as you guys are watching. Eight, four, three, two spades. Little bitty pot here. Small, one of the smallest ones we've seen so far. But Bob Enright. And Buddha, not deterred, building it up a little bit at a time here. 
Anytime and here comes the river. Nine of diamonds doesn't change anything. Buddha nope. gets the quest. Uh, <laughs> <check mark. laughs> so Buddha now 700 in the plus. Hey Marge, you still on vacation? Or oh, you're back from shoot. vacation. Okay, at Turks. Wonderful. Glad to hear from you. Hope to see you soon. Mars, did you get to play any poker down there? What's the poker scene like? Bill, same question. Uh, no. Kiwi Colleen, what is the message, or was that something in, uh, I know you have my, folds over to Bob, he's going to limp in with his ace seven offsuit. Gene's going to see a flop for three dollars. Yeah, Kiwi, the uh, board has been pretty active right now, so I might have missed your question. If I can go back and find it. My well, Vic looks for that. We got Enright raising it up with two four of clubs. He sure does love action. Boot is going to call behind with the queen jack off suit. Looks like we got four players do a flop. Oh, now I see your question. And here comes the flop. Eight nine five two spades. Gene. Yeah, I did. Bob's still ahead with his ace, but Gene waking up with the open-ended straight draw. Minus. Sorry. No. Oh, and Gene's going to bet this. Buddha coming along. He's got a gut shot and two overs. Speaking of overs. Speaking of. There it is. Buddha hits one of his hits his queen. And jumps out way ahead because we can see 71% of the equity. And I love that uh, the minute Gene looks up, it looks like he's looking at his outs there on the screen. <laughs> Kind of a uh, Brady Bunch effect there. Yeah. yeah. Kiwi, thank you very much for asking that question. I am an XL. Uh, Dominic, I believe, is a large. Please don't feel uh, the need to do that. We really appreciate uh, the thought, though. Thank you very much. And here's a rabbit hunting. And the qu king would have had uh, no impact on uh, the other players in that hand. So. Buddha continues to run well here tonight. Tonight, <laughs> he always runs well. Never the seen that, 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 that exact suit. I'm like, I mean, you know, under the gun. I'm like, yeah, smoothie. Um, <laughs> I'm shoving all in. Your question about uh, Buddha's sunglasses. Playing in the live stream. Um, <laughs> the very next hand. The lights can be a little bright. And uh, I believe I've had this conversation, or somebody's had this conversation with Buddha in the past. He does have his shades uh, up on his bill of his cap. I think when he does bring him down, perhaps after being in the lights for a while, give us a uh, little rest, a little relief to his eyes. The live stream, playing in the live stream, if you haven't done it yet, ladies and gentlemen, is a very unique experience. It's an awesome experience. I do recommend sunglasses. It can get a little bright in there. Yeah. Got and Matt, here. now Ace-10, original buy-in of 200 He jumped up quickly, winning his first hand, but now down to his last $84, he's going to push all in, and Enright snap calls here with Ace-2s. Buddha with the nemesis. And a mystery hand from Andrew. Buddha's going to get out of the way. So does Andrew. And we've got Ace 10 versus Ace 2. One here to $91 in the pot. 
He's not seeing oh, the right line. Decking. Tens against. Siding. No, it is doors, windows. Deuce! Mm -hmm. no, yeah. Good luck. So, why do you want to be in Well, anybody, any oh, private yeah. contract. No, oh, Marge says they stayed at a private villa. Here we go. Fast Eddie at the helm. Bringing us the flop. All in. And Enright jumps out with a deuce. 10 and a 10 only for Madden. Can't find it. Good hand, Bob. So it looks like uh, we could have a seat opening up. Maybe not. Oh, looks like he's got his rebuy ready. Yeah, Madden going to the well. I'm not sure why he didn't. Well, we do have a seat open. Not sure if it's that seat, particularly as we said this is a 15-minute delay, but the wizard just whispered in our ear that there is a seat open. Please give us a call here at the reserve. You guys see the action. Enright just caught off all his chips with the ace-deuce. He's not afraid to get it in there. Come down and join the game. Always a fun one on Saturdays. I know Bill likes to play those suited, connected hands, but it's hard to do from when you first to act. Y'all done? Yeah, I've won enough. I've got one knuckle out of here. In the cutoff, Mr. Enright, King Queen, $10 to call. I believe there's raisin chips coming out. There they are. Makes it a straight 50. And pocket sevens for Buddha and a snap call. Denny, no thanks, King five. Andrew out of the way. It's uh, seat one and seat two. Just been very quiet for these guys. They're just not seeing the cards. That makes for a long live stream when you're card dead. Yep. Gene already in invested for 10, so he's going to complete. 164 in the pot. Three players. Here comes the flop. Ace in the window. Gene takes the lead. And Enright just leads out for all of it right away with his gut shot. Damn their torpedoes. Gene calls. Enright looking for one of the three remaining tens. Yes, got to make it look pretty for the stream, absolutely. We're here to present a show. Fast Eddie giving us a great look. Looks like uh, Enright had Gene covered. If uh, I read that right, Eddie usually puts the uh, buttons correctly. Sure enough, Gene is all in. Well in the lead. No help there. That gives Gene the check mark. I had a question in the chat. The minimum buy-in for this game, I believe, is 200, Joe. Okay. On our on our uh, Saturday nights, it's a 200 to 500. Everybody, uh, with the exception of Young Madden, bought in for 500 tonight, and we've seen some people re-up uh, as they get below 500. The Thursday night uh, is a minimum buy-in and maximum buy-in of 500. That game has been running really big. Uh, Thursday night was a huge night. Um, they did change it so that at eight o'clock they could. Uh, they could max out at a thousand, but of course the big nights are Tuesday night. The five five ten no limit hold'em cash game is one thousand to two thousand dollar, with a match the stack. The last couple of weeks we've seen the uh, total chips high twenty thousand. One week a few weeks ago was like thirty seven thousand on the table. Tuesday nights is the big game. We love having this regular Joe Poker show. And again, if you guys are interested in playing, give the room a call. Let us know. We do book out some of these games weeks in advance. So please, look, always looking for fresh faces. 
And right, gonna put all his chips in with his pocket tens. Right, even side. One on two. So DFG, it's been a pretty uh, active night here. We've had a uh, couple players having to leave uh, early after getting felted a couple times. Frank uh, was in seat seven. Then young Madden came in, got a good start with his very first hand. I'm going to look up. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. 2400 in front of him, so why not make the call of 100 bucks? 220 in the pot. Mr. Enright with pocket tens. Uh, give me my hundred back. <coughs> you action. I know if I know Eddie, we're going to have an action flop here. It's going to be a sweat. I think it is going to be a sweat. You're right. Bob called the spades and he nailed it. Queen, Jack, five, two spades. Six no hearts, help. no help. Yeah. Real slow. Real slow, Eddie. Real slow. Spade or a king for Bob? It's red. Oh, no. oh, oh my God. goodness. Reserve oh, Bob continues to run good tonight. <laughs> we were you know, we said we were now. I was ashamed of him. And a $500 max buy-in game. He would have got down the driveway after that call, huh? DFG, the other thing that's been going on tonight is that uh, the artist formerly known as MGM Bob has changed his handle to Reserve Bob, and oh my goodness, is he getting pushback? <coughs> Comments like, uh, you're not supposed to be allowed to uh, create your own nickname. It came about because uh, his uh, two five buddies up there in MGM have started calling him Reserve Bob. I'm sure Jim loved that change. I like it. I do too. Yeah. Got lots of hands here. 10 10. Queen Jack suited. King Jack off suit. Pa pair of nines. We are going to see some action. Bill with the 7 4. Just nothing to play. Guppy, who started this with his tens. What a range. Yeah, four moves <coughs> in the flop. Oh, boy. Seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Action flop coming your way. Eight. Guppy going to bet out with his open ended. And over pair. Back over to Denny now with a set of nines. Just going to smooth call here. Heads up action. Five of hearts. No real change. Six does make a straight now, but unlikely as things played. Checks it over to Denny. That's a hundred with his three nines. Oop, splash in the pot there, Guppy. Be careful. What if I would have done that? What if I would have done that? You'd have heard what would have happened? You'd have heard it. The fucking... Oh, you'd have heard it. 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 Denny top full house. Yes. Guppy's still with an old pair. This could get him in a lot of trouble. Look how he's talking. Well, it's the truth. Guppy likes that over pair. He's now beating, you know, seven, eight, eight, nine. It's a good card for Guppy. In theory. I'll tell you what, if I buck my card, I would not have buck my card. I would not let the dealer turn him over. I'm throwing him right here. You mocked him. I'm throwing him right here so he can. You mocked him. No, you got to throw him. They're mocked if they touch the pile. They mocked the retrievable from there forever. Uh, just because he's sticking on your side. I'm not on that side. Splash the pot drama going on shit. at the table. What happened there, Gil? Check, check. What, what happened there? Nope. So we got an all in. Wow. Uh, oh, okay. All in and a call. 
And the uh, set of nines. Now Denny on a roll here. So quiet in that first hour or so. And the momentum has changed. Without a doubt, we see that time and time again here, Nick. No limit hold them. You got to buckle up because it's a roller coaster. Absolutely. Uh, well, what's the saying? You got to wait hours for that 30 seconds of emotion. Right. Things just continue to go poorly for Guppy. Yeah. Yes, Moody, uh, that would be the case. Question was, uh, could I come in for the 400 and get the seat? And uh, yes, you can. Call on down, Smoothie. We got uh, about an hour left, a little more than an hour left on the stream. Plenty of time to run up a stack. And there's a good chance this game will keep running. Uh, I think with the faces we have tonight, if any game is going to go, uh, yeah, <laughs> this, this will be it. Yeah. How much you bet down there? Because you know I ain't fifty. <laughs> and right raises it up to fifty with his oh, ace ten offsuit. Right Holds around to Bob. Yeah, Jenny, we have seen pocket nines tonight. You're absolutely right. Otis with a suited wheel ace. <laughs> I would love to see a three bet here. I don't know if we will, but that's, that's what I would like to see. Someone is up two grand for the night. He was sued. And he's action and right. I really like those suited wheel aces as three bet block yeah. candidates <laughs> there. You know. If you get four bet, you can just get out of the way, but. A lot of times you take it down pre-flop. If you get a call, you flop your, you know, you flop them dead half the time. I like it. Here's a blind bet from uh, Bob Enright. I think I got eight. Oh, so fucking close. Oh my god. I know that's your favorite hand. I moved. I moved. I know that's your favorite hand. My goodness, the uh, banter is heating up as well. There's the current chip count. It's been quite a night here for Reserve Bob. Denny, quiet in the beginning, and now he is uh, 900 above his original $500 buy-in. Buda, that's a profit above 500. Otis took a dip into his stack a little earlier, but now after a big hand. Yeah, I had the opportunity to deal with the first 45 minutes of this game, and I don't think Denny played a hand the whole time I was in there. Right. It's good to see him turn it around. Booter, are you going to play any more and hands? Been, or what uh, are you do? Well, these are screwed down to the table. I'd see. If you bet more than this. Hey, he wakes up with another hand, a pair of jacks. You're on lockdown. They're all glued. Yeah. Got Buddha with the deuces. And the momentum continues to come Denny's way. Andrew just not seeing much at all. Got the suited Dorothy and gets out of the way. Bill, no thank you with the 7-4. Otis invested only a buck there. Now Gene, ace jack of diamonds. What's he going to do here? Going to bet all of his chips. All in. Looks like it's two hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Enright hates folding, but he's got to this time. Boy, did Buddha want to see a flop or what? Oh, Buddha told me he wasn't going to fold pocket pairs anymore. He after that Tuesday game, he folded deuces, would have flopped quads. He said he wasn't going to fold them. I'll have to call him on that. So we have Ace Jack first. Jack, Jack, sixty-nine to thirty-one. Five hundred and seventy-seven dollars in the middle. Eddie doing a good job of getting this pot right. Nice job, Eddie.
No change. Still looking for an ace. There it is oh on the my. turn. Oh my. All that yeah, momentum going Denny way. Wow. Denny's way is just shifted again. Gene with a full double up. DFG, we've already uh, been prepping Nick. Here we go. We're building it up again. See what see what's happening here. I know. They just. Uh, it's a good thing. Uh, MGM uh, Reserve Bob is getting all this grief tonight. Otherwise, they'd be really bringing it your way. Yeah, he's taking a little bit of the shrapnel yeah. for me. Dealer change now coming in. Young Patrick. I don't know how Patrick sits on this table. This table seems to... There's that little yes. podium. I, I can barely fit under. He's much taller than me. I don't I know. know how he does it. I don't know where his legs go when he sits <laughs> in there. Um this is a this is a difficult table for me to deal and part of it is my belly but uh, yeah my knees come right up to the bottom and somehow he, he gets in there he looks comfortable he does he looks much more comfortable than I do and he's and got a couple inches on me at least and he always does a great job good young dealer Otis with the American Airlines going to raise it up to 45. This is the second time now he's had the aces. Successful the first time around? I believe it was. All right. Andrew with a suited connector. Hasn't been getting much. He's going to play this one, Vic. This is the kind of hand you want to crack aces. Not with not, that flop. Though. Not this time. Good check, Otis. Yeah. Thought maybe Andrew could pick up some straight straight outs there, but Otis does get the check mark with the King of Hearts turn. Do you uh, own a dog? I do. Yeah. Well, uh, Adam tonight, his uh, shout out was to uh, his wife, who owns a uh, dog grooming business. Okay. Hound Haven, and uh, you know the city paper does the best in Toledo, <laughs> and so she just won an award. Uh, oh, very nice for this year's uh, best in Toledo dog grooming. I'm sorry, which player was this? Um, in uh, seat two. Okay, Andrew. All right. Andrew, I mean, I said Adams. I thought me. I thought that was what you said. Yeah, no, okay. Andrew. And yeah, we did miss the fact that the deuce came on that board where. Uh, Oh man! Buddha folded the deuces, and he after telling you that yeah. he was never going to fold another pair, he's gonna he's gonna regret that one again. I think that's what he's talking about right now. I bet. You dog owner, Vic? Um, just uh, about a bit, about a year ago, put our uh, dog down. But I've had a dog since I was uh, probably five years old. As I say, it just seems like you're a guy that yeah. will, you know have a little black lab or something running around. Yeah. Says, can you beat? Did you get seven? Five. You just came off of that. Buddha flopping the best of it here. That's right. I didn't lie to you, and I thought you were call shit. I wouldn't do that. Not with all my friends watching. All right. He's not going to slow play it. Raises it up to 150 to go. And Is that influenced by having Bob Enright in the hand? Okay. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if you, Enright's the only guy at the table that's going to call him with a deuce or a five there. Buddha knows his customer and gets value. I uh, went for too much on the term, but that's all right. He extracted an extra $150 there he wouldn't have otherwise. Yep, and he shows the Jack-10. You know... Yeah, after um, putting our dog down last year, uh, it occurred to me that I uh, really haven't been uh, without a dog since I was about five years old. Started with the family dog, was a, a wiener dog, a dachshund. And then we had a, uh, a Brittany Spaniel that was an outstanding uh, dog in the field, pheasant hunting. Then I went off to school and uh, got a dog almost uh, the second year in college. She was a great dog, and we've just uh, continued to have dogs uh, up until last year. But we're in a condominium now. 
and so um, not as much space. Not as much space. You can get yourself another wiener dog. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's what I have now. He, he's not a Dotson. He's a Jack Russell and uh, uh-huh. Poodle mix, but he really looks just like a Jack Russell. But he's got he's half happened, Poodle. He weighs about a pound and a half. Great dog, though. They see some big pots go by. I want to get in on it. See N right out flopping mad in here. This card could get mad in yes. some trouble. Looking for only one king left in the deck. Ooh, thought that was it. Bob not gonna slow down on that diamond. No. Good fold, Madden. Good fold. Thought he was going to get froggy there and kind of use his image to his advantage, but didn't have enough behind, I don't think, to scare Bob out of there. That is one of the downfalls to buy it in for 200 when the rest of the table is up, you know, 5, 7. Oh, we see Bob with 2,500. It's hard to get any fold equity out of your stack there. Andrew, 28. $10 shuttle. Otis, 28. We had a conversation here uh, a couple live streams ago about the bankroll, your bankroll versus the level that you're playing at. And, um, you know, some of the numbers throwing out, let's say you're going from this 1-2 game and you're considering jumping to the 5-5-10 five, five, no limit hold'em cash game 1000 to 2000 dollars buy-in and um, you know I'm a big uh, proponent of never play with the rent yeah yeah you really want to have a separate bankroll focused on your card playing yeah I think you should have a good 15 to 20 buy-ins before you sit down to any cash game. Exactly. So that being... Uh, and that's really on the low end. I mean, yeah. if you... Uh, you know, these professional poker players, they're going to tell you to have 50 or 100 buy-ins before you play in a game, but that's that's not really attainable for most people. Right. Um, got an ace-high flop here. Madden doesn't like that with his 10s, but he's going to oh, see that anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Enright has a piece of it, not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Be careful here, Madden. And if this queen slows him down, oh, his check, check. Madden has the check mark. Only $65 behind. He checks. And they checked a showdown. That's good. Well, we've had a uh, request here for the VPIP, not only on the chat board, and the chat board was in reference to Buddha, so now Buddha brings up VPIP, and here it is. So Enright, Reserve Bob, Madden, Gene, Denny, all up there, Buddha in the 34%. I wouldn't have guessed Guppy would be on the bottom half. Straddle up on C4, straddle. I think I could have guessed the top two. Yes. And I believe uh, the first couple hours, Enright's VPIP was probably closer to 80%. Still nobody taking the title from Caleb. I think he was up over, what was that, 85 on Tuesday, something like that? Dave, I like that uh, comment, 1% of your net worth. Yeah, that's really what, it, you know, if you talk to a professional, that's what they're going to tell you. Yeah. Never risk more than 1% of your net worth on any one buy-in. I think for a lot of recreational players, that's that's just not a, something that's obtainable. Um, it's a good goal to have. Yeah. I'm surprised to see Bob let that oh, one go. Yeah, yeah. You're right. 
We had a three bet. I missed the yeah, three bet. Yeah, Buddha's okay. three bet with the Jacks, and Otis is going to come along now with sevens, and he has been quiet here for a while. And Enright, no fear. No fear. <laughs> Mr. Enright. Oh, you learned a rough lesson. Corey DeBond, you always run. 9 8 3, two hearts. No change. Enright does flop a pair. <laughs> Out for me so 200 from Buddha. Close to a pot size bet here. Would you like to see him play that any slower? No, his hand's likely good now. Okay. But needs some protection. And he has Enright, who, as we can see, is going to call that bet. You know, I, I like this idea. A little smaller, maybe you can bring Otis in as well, but can't get too greedy. And right, looking for a five or a three. Good luck, and right. Maybe we can turn a five out of him. He's gonna get there this time. I cannot believe you caught me with bottom. I guess a running straight would do it. Six, seven. Nice job, young Patrick. The pot is right. The view is great. Three. No help. Buddha gonna rake in that seven hundred and fourteen dollar pot. Yes, thanks for the uh, chat board uh, addressing that question. Voluntary put in pot, V pip, and basically it's a measurement of your activity and how often you are playing in pots. It's an indication of um, how often you are putting yourself uh, in the pot, putting yourself at risk. Typically, you will see professionals say that somewhere in the 20s to 30s is a reasonable area to be. If you're too low, you're probably not putting your money at risk as often as you could to make a good return. And if you're playing too many hands, you're also at risk. It's hard to get a really good gauge of what a player's VPIP is in just four or five hours. Yes. You know, it, yeah. but it's it's very easy for a player to just run bad for the, the length of the stream, and then yeah. <laughs> they're getting made fun of for a week. I feel bad for them sometimes. It's happened to me personally. A single pack by itself. Wow. What was it? It was magic. Yeah. So oh, it was magic a, a serialized card, meaning like they only printed a certain amount. I called uh, a one of two four to this flop. Quite a range. Here it comes. Still get bubble gum those things? Clean deuce deuce. Nobody holds a deuce. Still see Bill ahead with forty one percent of the equity four ways. I just want a WWE card worth like eight hundred bucks. It's pretty big business though. I got I got four watchers right now. It's at it's at six hundred. That was and there's a jack for Denny now. Denny takes the lead. Surprised to not see a bet on that flop. Otis wants to see where he's at with these fives. Can't blame him after a checks around on the flop. Unfortunately, he's going to run into Denny here. Bill gets out of the way with the nines. So we got fives versus King Jack. No help for Otis. Denny gets the check mark. <coughs> Checks around. Showdown. The Nemesis. Score one for the Nemesis. Yeah. Get the Sharpie out and put another mark on the wall. Uh, we like to collect data back here. <laughs> Regular Joe Poker Show here, our Saturday night staple for a cash game, 1-3, no limit hold of cash game, 500, $200 to $500 buy-in. And look at those stack sizes, 2.6 up top, 1.9, three players with over $1,000, over, over double their initial buy-in. You see Reserve Bob there over five times his initial buy-in. The, the okay. A few years ago, Upper Deck yeah, exactly. um, made a blow-up version of Michael Jordan's rookie card, the Fleer rookie card. So I got I got that signed by Jordan. Nice. Oh, oh, dang. It's a 
Sounds like we got a basketball memorabilia collector at the table. Wish you to mention that while I was out there. I'd like to hear about his collection. Got a raise for Madden here up to 75 with a pair of 10s. Bob coming along with a King 3. Denny's going to fold the shimmy. Don't get to see Andrew's cards. Bob with the King 6 folds his button straddle. Back to Otis with the suited ace eight. Kids out of the way. Gene with the suited connector, closing the action. Getting an okay price to call. Not very deep, but yep, makes the right decision. Gets out of the way. Yeah, they can, but it costs like with LeBron stuff. The bigger the star, the more it costs off any case. So it costs. Oh, and a king. Yep, and a three. Madden just had these tens. Like 10 minutes ago. And I just runs pure here. Having a rough night, hopefully. This could be the start of something for him. Sorry to see that Madden's expense, but yeah, Bob's had some tough ones. I have, I have, but... If it's fake, it's a good fake? Yeah, it is. It really is. I mean, but again... I and it's so hard to fold to Bob here. There is one over card, but we've seen how active Bob has been. It's hard to fold this pair of 10s. Can't blame him for calling. He's going to be looking for one 10 left in the deck. So it's just way too easy to fake it. <laughs> Doesn't find it. I said the Jordan thing's my biggest piece. I got a lot of really cool stuff though. What do we think? Am I gonna go for all of it here? I got I got some movies, my movie movie. He does. I got a lot I got a lot of pro wrestling stuff too. Like I got a earn signed by the Undertaker. Madden put himself in a really bad spot here, only eighty-four dollars behind a five hundred and eight dollar pot. All of his instincts are telling him to fold, but there's five hundred dollars out there. He's not ready to concede. Put away right now. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I got a. Oh, I got an eight by ten sign by the Rock. I got a vest sign by Stone Cold Steve Austin. You could wear some of that stuff on the screen. Yeah, we're the, yeah, the Roman. Yeah. He's gonna pay it off. He says, "Why you're calling me, Madden? You've been watching him all night. You know he's not folding." Madden has to go back to the well. Oh, yeah. Him and I actually have the exact same birthday. Yeah. And he's dead. And we, we, uh, they dedicated the football field. Yeah, he's from Michigan. Yeah, he's from, uh, Madison Heights, so that's where he taught. That's where he coached football and wrestling. And we're on to the next one. But he would be, uh, he'd be, uh, gym coach during the day, and then he Still a few likes away from our goal. We're at 64. Guys, that helps the channel out a ton. Please hit that thumbs up. Sam DeBine is 200 to 500. It's a 1 3 regular Joe Poker show. Enright limps in with the sh off suit shimmy. Buddha behind him with Ace Queen. Makes it 45 to play. Denny and Andrew get out of the way. Bob's in the muck. Bill and Guppy as well. Gene with the suited ace. Gonna look him up. And we know Bob's gonna get in there. So we're gonna see a three way flop here. $139 in the middle. Six of clubs in the window, followed by an ace of clubs, king of diamonds. Buddha flops the best of it. Gene might be getting himself in some trouble here.
Paul's the 90. That's it. And right able to get out of the way. You can see a six would chop. Buddha announces all in. Gonna put Gene to the test here. He has $431 in his stack. Does he want to play for all of it? Has to think he's chopping at best here. I think if he calls, he's putting Buddha on a flush draw on a flush draw only. Shitty ace or something? Yeah. yeah calls it out. <laughs> Called him out on it. Gene makes a good fold. Yeah. Good fold, Gene. Michael, thank you very much for that comment. I'm glad you got a chance to get down here uh, over here. I guess you're an hour and a half away to play the tournament today. And uh, your comments about our room. Very much appreciated. Those that have not played here at the reserve, we like to uh, consider ourselves a uh, professional room with that home game, home game at atmosphere. Like uh, you'll yeah, come really. to play a tournament here, and you will hear laughter and fun. Something and, I really uh, I just something you don't necessarily hear when you go to a poker room. Yeah, I, something I think we do that that, ha that works really well for us is we have a really good mix of regulars and new faces. You know, it, just really enjoyable to come in here. It really feels like family. But then you had the new people coming in that you know seem to fit really well. Enright opening it up with the offsuit shimmy. Then he's gonna call with nine seven of clubs. Folds over to Bill. Been pretty quiet. Gonna see. Gonna call this bet with the ace nine. They took him down. Three ways to the flop. Couple suited connectors and the ace nine of hearts. Nope. Sorry, Bob's isn't suited. See, Bill takes the lead with a pair of aces. Denny not far behind with his flush draw. Nothing for him, right? Bill gonna bet what looks to be 45. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'll take one, but you need something to do. Bob gets out of the way, and Denny's gonna continue with his flush draw. You can see a lot of clubs are folded. He has five clean outs here. <coughs> Three hearts is not one of them, actually. In in increases the strength of Bill's hand. Gives him a flush draw to go along with his top pair. Bet of 85 and a snap call from Denny. Ooh, and he gets there. Jack of clubs on the river. But there's a chance... And Bill makes a very disciplined fold. Let's it go. Good fold, Bill. I would gamble and come down. I take the gamble. I'm not playing it right. Come to my brother tomorrow. He'll be just like Thursday night. Very good fold from Bill. I know it's easy to sit once you see the cards. Well, of course he has a flush, but it's hard to do in real life. Well, call me. I just come back from Florida. See Bob with the straddle here. Just one. He has two tables, but we don't have one dealer right now. We're working on getting two. Yeah. We've got another one lined up. What's he talking about? I'm not sure. Yeah. He's a good, good dealer. Forty. Forty. Bob with the offsuit ace queen raising it up. Forty. They're all good when they keep their chips. Guppy with the suited ace queen behind him. Excuse me, suited ace jack. Enright with spades of his own. Reaching for chips makes the call. Five deuce tray, two diamonds. Checks around, gonna see a free turn. Seven completes the diamond draw. Nobody holding diamonds. 
And right, pair of three is leads out. Eighty dollars. Leads out and he's in the lead. Yeah, I think this gets the job done. Guppy does have two overs, but Diamond's already there. I think he's got to get out of the way. Pump fake. <laughs> and he lets it go. <laughs> showed a card. I wonder if he showed the three of the nine. He said it showed the three of spades. All right. Yeah. Marty, you and uh, Diane camping this weekend. Where are you at this weekend? South of Pittsburgh, because that's where a big storm is coming. Rain south of us here in a couple of days. Big storm brewing. I think it's going to miss us. God, I hope so. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, yeah, there's something about uh, the rain hitting the uh, top of the camper. I got a leaky roof right now, so I gotta I gotta pray for no rain. Uh oh. Bob gonna limp in with his eights. But Bill, Bill, kind of a frustrating night here for Bill. Ace ten offsuit. He's gonna raise it up. Guppy coming along with the fours. Also a frustrating night. Otis folds an ace. Don't think we got to see Enright's cards, but he's out of there. Buddha as well. Denny with a suited jack nine wants to play. Was this a uh, intended check raise on Bob's it'd part? Be a great spot for it. Oh, good luck, Bill. Hope you hit this fly. Nope, just gonna call. You do for a hit. Really would have liked to see a check raise there. Already $150 in the pot. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate your Yeah, I got more than one friend. Or a limp raise, I should say. Five, queen, six, two spades. <coughs> Bob in the lead with his pair of eights. Bill going to continue for 75. Gets Guppy out of there. Denny with nothing to continue. Back to Bob. One over card to his eights. <coughs> this is why I like a check raise. You could have taken control of the pot. Yeah. And as you can, I mean, we can see the flop, but um, right. you know, his seat bet would have won the pot. And now he's behind. Bill catches up here. One fifty is the bet. Half the pot. <coughs> now with an, another overcard to Bob eight, the Bob's eights. Put himself in a really tough situation here. Two opportunities where Bob could have changed the entire flow of this pot. Could have, could have raised pre-flop after all those people called the 50. Could have check raised the flop and taken it down. A couple missed opportunities here for Bob. Rare misstep. Unfortunately for Bob, it really seems like he's talking himself into a call here. Think long, think wrong. Nope, he makes the right choice. Folds his eights. So was Bob trying to tell himself that since he, uh, Bill, bet 150 and still had like 150 left that maybe he was weak? I mean, I, it, typically you're thinking the other way around. Yeah, I'm not. I, it's hard for me to call what Bob was thinking there because I, I, I would have done a couple things differently in that flop. So once he put himself in that situation, hard to know what he was thinking. But he, he definitely he thought a long time. I thought he was trying to talk himself into a call. Maybe thinking that Bill left a little behind in case he gets raised. I don't know. I'll have to ask Bob about that one later. I'm curious to see why. He didn't elect to raise pre-flop and why he didn't elect to raise post-flop. He did make the right fold. Once he was behind, he did fold, but I think he did uh, air in the, the pre-flop and flop action. Is that what you're saying? I don't believe it. I think he had pocket. Maybe it was suited. I had 
possible, but I highly doubt that we have five, six, eight. Andrew now been very, very quiet. Races it up to 15 with King 10 of Hearts. He just walks into it with Gene behind him. Yeah. I would have turned and opened in a straight girl on a flush draw. <laughs> did Gene just call? No, he did raise, raise yeah. 65 now. Okay. Three bet to 65. And now look at this. Enright with Queens. Just calls. Just calls. We can see the cards, so, you know, but Queens, that's a <laughs> tough position to just call. <laughs> kind of invites people behind him to it call It sure does. This is like a welcome mat now for Otis. But he lets it go. So we're going to go three-handed here to the flop. Andrew catches a piece of it. Only real change. Going to see Gene continue for a hundred dollars here. And unfortunately for Bob, there's the all-in. I think Andrew was getting ready to make this call here, and uh, now gets out of the way. And uh, a snap call here from Gene with the Kings, as you'd expect. And right, just has uh, Gene covered here, so this is an all-in moment for Gene with the Kings. Yeah, and right was starting to make some progress, crawling his way back, and really ran into a wall here. Just young, a cooler. Yeah, young Patrick getting the uh, pot right. Ace of hearts. One king left in the deck. Can't find it. Nope. Can't find it. And this has been uh, a <laughs> tough night here for uh, Mr. Enright. Yeah, I was really hopeful. He was starting to yeah. build some momentum back. I thought he was going to make a late night surge, but tough one there. A late night surge. I should say the power hour surge. We have reached the power hour, folks. One hour left on the regular Joe Poker Show. And some people might ask why we call it the power hour. What's going to happen here, do we think, over the next hour, Nick? Well, I think the Enright is in a mood to blast off here. <laughs> just, just honestly, he's just really ran into it tonight. He is. If I had to guess, we're going to see a lot of action from the nine seat. He's like a tick. Gets under your skin when you get back. There's a button shot over to yeah. Part of the game, man. It's efficient, you say? Like Thank you, Kiwi. Game. Dan, I don't know, man. That that was about all I got. <laughs> So what what is the origin of the power hour? Where did that come from? from the just uh, a natural progression from what we see every week. I think just a natural progression. Um, I don't have a, a great memory around some of these things or how they got started. Um, sometimes they just come out like the uh, call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins, and the unadulterated poker. I like to call them uh, Ringo-isms, Ringo Starr, <laughs> who would say things like uh, eight days a week, thus uh, prompting a song from the Beatles. Meanwhile, we do sometimes it just here. just uh, yeah. Sometimes it just comes up and uh, people respond, and so uh, we keep it going. I like that one. It definitely <laughs> stuck. I got a lot of crap the last couple of days. I really hope I redeem myself here. Four ways to a flop. Deuce, eight, nine, two hearts. Enright loving that flop. Yeah, Jenny, no bingo here tonight. This is a poker game. Enright likes his hand. He's going to bet it. Looks like 150. <laughs> but I can be I unfortunately nobody up. really picking up anything else Otis has a gut shot 
for what we've seen tonight. I don't see him putting $150 in the middle with a gut shot. It does have two overs to go with it. He's thinking. He is thinking. Thinking hard about this. He's seen uh, what Enright has been doing here tonight. <laughs> Playing just a very wide range of hands. And at any given moment, you're in a hand with Enright where you're way ahead or you're way behind. Yeah, and it's really, it's impossible to tell. His range is so wide that it's, it's you want the best of it. It's the only time you're comfortable is, with, is if you got the stone cold nuts. It's the only time you can be comfortable playing a pot with a man like that. So willing to gamble. We got a dealer change here. I forgot to announce, and uh, I like to refer to Jonathan as uh, everybody, everybody's favorite southpaw. Have you played at a table with Jonathan dealing? Yeah, I mean when the when the online. Uh, yes. It took me a minute to adjust to it. It really did. It's it's, it's like playing golf in a foursome, and one of the players is left-handed, and you're constantly looking over, um, and you feel like things are a little inverted, right? It does a very good job, but it, it, it is jarring the first couple times. Guppy and, o Guppy and Otis both with aces. Guppy limps in with his ace-aided diamonds. Otis with the off-suit big slick makes it $40 to go. And right with the queen nine off-suit wants to play. Buddha getting a very good price now with a suited queen. Now Guppy getting the good getting a good price as well. King six nine. Otis swapping the best of it with his pair of kings ace kicker. So, so the house party at uh, Otis's house just uh, yell, put out a big cheer for this flop, and he's going to bet it, make it 85. Mr. Enright gets a piece of this. I thought that Otis's tight image might cause him some action here from Bob, but he is going to come along. And we're heads up. Oh, there it is for Enright. Wow. What a roller coaster for this man tonight. Yes. See if Otis picks up on that and slows down. Nope. Gonna bet half pot. Unfortunately, Otis. I'm really, really interested to see how Bob decides to play this. There is a flush draw on board. Does he go for it now? Or does he just call? Bob and right aside, what would be your preference here? If the flush draw wasn't out there, I'd really like just calling. Yep. I like to raise now to target, you know, king, queen, ace, king. Target the, the kind of hand Otis has. Otis is capable of getting away from this. Not this time, though. Gonna look him up. Gonna be drawing to the one remaining king in the deck. Brian, you bring up a good point. I don't need uh, G DFG to tell you that uh, I'm considered a uh, tight player. And I don't know that I'd ever be in this hand with Queen-9. Find myself in this situation. He was getting I'd probably need to do it more often because uh, then I'd know what to do when I'm in this <laughs> situation. He was getting a very good price to come along. One out here. Needs a king and a king only. Doesn't find it. Enright rebuilding. 
You were the last one I wanted, though. Oh, Otis. Otis. Don't look down. You're looking down here when you say that. Huh? Zach, you are right. That was a sick hand. You're getting a lot of people look at you. I know, right? I got a staff that better look at me. I'm going to have a fucking target on me. Hey, uh, Otis. Right at me. Oh, Otis, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, brother. You're good. And we want to thank everybody for joining us tonight, the regular Joe Poker Show. This is a four-hour live stream. We're going till 10.15 tonight. As Nick so appropriately called it out, we are now in the power hour. What do we see in the power hour? We see bigger bets. We see broader ranges, bigger action people that have been stuck or trying to get some money back. They know that there's uh, limited time left, although this game oftentimes goes later. So hold on to your seats. Got another uh, 45, really 50 now. minutes here. Oh, he bad. Bill opens us up with Queen Jack suited. Guppy comes along with Ace 10 suited. Otis with the same hand but spades. Calls the 15. Oh. Young Madden. Madden tired of folding. Going to play the 8 6 suited. Dolly Parton here for Buddha, 9 to 5. No anyway. thanks. And right in between them with the 7-4. The nemesis for Denny. Six-handed to a flop. Six-handed. What do we got going here, Nick? Got some interesting matches matchups here. Ace, queen, three, rainbow. Otis and Guppy with aces with the 10 kicker. Oh, and a free card. Look at this. Look at this. We have Bill with a pair of queens and a flush draw. Guppy with two pair. Otis with two pair. And Denny. Denny with Broadway. Has Broadway here. And he announces a raise. I think this hand is going to live up to the power hour hype. We are going to oh see some goodness. chips Look in the pot Bill. here. Bill with a uh, royal flush draw. Not coming because Denny's got the king of hearts, but still. Second pair, second nut flush draw. $150 is a good price. He's going to see it. Guppy with two pair. Gets it all in now. Wow. Now what does Otis do with all this action ahead of him? Not afraid, gets it. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Denny is loving this. Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. If you are at the uh, Otis watch party, Denny with the five bet shove. And Bill. In the blender here, I too much money in there. Can't fold this hand, I don't think. Unfortunately for him, we can see he only holds 16% equity. Cost him all his money to see the river. So he's getting, uh, is he getting five to one here on his money? Four to one. I can't quite see how much he has. Five, 535? Yeah. Yeah, he can't. He can't fold. It it hurts. But he, he this is sick. This is Fortun sick. Unfortunately, though, he can be up against the king high flush draw. This is the problem with showing hands and things like that, as you can hear. Yeah. Yeah, but hurry up every chance you get. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can see if Bill makes this call, he's going to win 16 out of 100 times. 535 to win 1600. Not quite the right price, but it's so hard to make this fold. 
paired board, you know, makes it easier. But no paired board like this, he... It's so hard to fold this hand. But with all the action, you gotta think even a queen isn't gonna help you. So you're looking for a heart and a heart only. Well, I am a little surprised uh, the computer knows what cards are left, and uh, it doesn't have Guppy or Otis uh, drawing dead here, so there's still um, outs there for them to hit their uh, full house. Yep, still an ace and a ten left. And so here comes a call, and this is why we call him our favorite southpaw, Jonathan. Very experienced dealer here is going to make sure that this pot is right because multiple pots here. <laughs> yep, this is, these are the kind of pots where you're grateful to have an experienced dealer in there. Very yes. easy for something to go wrong if you don't have the experience in making these side pots. Start with the smallest one, work your way up. And it's not acceptable to just uh, leave these chips where they lay and figure it out later. Not with $2,000 in the pot. Not with this kind of money, not with four hands. You want to make sure that you've got everything right. Bob, thank you very much. Bob just said these dealers are so good here. All dealers deal poker. They don't even know any regular dealer. And then we're playing bomb pots. We're playing bomb pots. We're going to let him talk for us here. Yes, absolutely. Preach it, Bob. Preach it. Levine's got his money on the hearts. So this is one they're going to talk about all night, right here. Yes, this is going to be the one. Give me ten bucks, Bob. Black news. We're supposed to be in there, right? You Who's your horse, Vic? The heart's going to take the lead. We got an ace or a ten left. What do you think? I would be surprised if uh, Broadway doesn't hold up here. Wow! Oh my goodness! Wow! He was in for all of it. He's going to scoop that 2.2k pot. Bill, quiet all night. My goodness! Now he's going to be right up there with the reserve Bob on our chip. Wow. What a turn of events here, ladies and gentlemen. The Reserve Poker Club, Toledo, Ohio, Saturday night regular Joe Poker Show. And I'd like to say it doesn't get any better than this, but man, our live stream cash games have just been on fire. Action. Action, action. Again, guys, if you're interested in playing one of these amazing games, we have them three nights a week. Give Marissa a call here down at the reserve. Get your name on that list. He didn't know if he called. He was at the window. Right, yeah. His flesh drop could have been dead. The colonel brings up a good point. He says, I'm calling with any of those hands. So, really, any one of those players, they can't look back and say, I shouldn't have. Why did I? No. It, it, right? I mean, you know. I, if I want to play the devil's advocate, the only one that maybe could have got away from it was Otis. After Guppy calls, you got, but that's being really nitpicky there. I think every player had to go with their hand. Yeah. Looks like Otis is not going to reload. So we will be eight handed. Eight handed the rest of the night, I believe. Well, you never know. That uh, tournament going on, uh, the one I was just out there a minute ago, was down to uh, three tables. Soon to be down to two tables. You're right. That could be good timing. Could get. Could be good timing. We might be picking up uh, <laughs> some players from that. <laughs> All good natured there. Guppy knocking down the chips and then polishing up Bill's, uh, Bill's head there. The polish was a nice touch. That was a nice touch. Bill waking up with a suited ace. Can't play it. 
That's what I was hoping. And, and right, right, still ahead with the sixes. Yeah, like, like, I, I got nothing else is going to yeah. draw me except for the hearts. Yeah. Well, the one 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 going to take down that pot. $181. Wesley, thank you so much for the great comments. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I gotta get and uh, Lieutenant chat. Dan, if you can make your way over here sometime. And please take a look at the ReservePoker.com, ladies and gentlemen. We have got some great events coming up as early as this Saturday, a week from today. Great event coming up. It is a 2024 World Series of Poker Main Event Satellite, $140 buy-in. That's Saturday, April 13th. Start time at 12 p.m. You can get all that information on the ReservePoker.com. And then right around the corner, starting on April 19th, our two-week celebration of our three-year anniversary. That world Five world. events to choose from in that time frame. That World Series of Poker satellite, is gonna, that's just going to be amazing. $12,000 prize pool pa prize package. Yeah. Could potentially parlay that into seven, eight-figure score. I mean, that's the dream. That's, that's the, the dream. dream. It really is. It's the Chris Moneymaker story. That really is not an isolated story. It happens. Just yeah. recently here with our uh, $500 with our uh, $500 bounty tournament. Yeah. And we had a player that got in deep into that tournament after winning two spots in two different $30 satellites here. $60, $60 was the investment. Invested, yeah. And then he takes down uh, double bag, $1,000 just for double bagging. Sure, he had some bounties. That was a heck of a weekend for a $60 investment. Yeah. That, of course, is our good buddy Jeff Wilkie. Yeah, I couldn't remember his last name. I didn't want to just say Jeff, so thank you there. <laughs> <laughs> Two players here hitting a five. Gene and Madden. But Denny's going to put the pressure on here and bet with some air. And nothing more. Got two checks behind him. Can't can't blame him. I mean, ace high is going to be good a lot of times. You have to, right? Yeah. Picks up a gut shot. 50 50. And he's going to keep the pressure on. And it pays off. Look yes. at that. The aggression pays off. Oh, yeah. You haven't dealing him yet? Andrew's at 22. Andrew's at 26. You want his wine? 31. 31. B-fit, buddy. Who? Speaking of last names, I... 30. Help me out with your last name. M Molinex. Molinex. You Molinex. Molinex. Yep. Just yep. like it sounds. Just, just like it's spelled. Yeah. Yeah. People really struggle with it, but it is just like it. It sounds just like it's just like it's spelled. Well, I'm almost tempted to say something, uh, you know, like French, like Molino or something. That's probably the most common one I get is Molino. Yeah. 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 It seems like people from this area do okay with it because there's a Molinex <laughs> Ford. It's <laughs> it's spelled differently. There, the Molinex Ford is spelled differently. But okay. It sounds the same, so it seems like people up this way have a easier time with it. But down where I'm from, it's always Molino. Yeah, it was just a little over a year ago that Scotty was here. He was here for two weeks. We had a spring series. God, is that it already? Seems like forever ago. It does, doesn't it? Got to give that credit to Jim and Marissa for all these exciting events. We worked so many different events into one year time that it's hard to believe. Well, Rose, you bring up a good question. This is a four-hour live stream. Our Tuesday night is five-hour, and our Thursday night is five-hour. These have really been an evolution, if you will, uh, from the day one when we started uh, live streaming. And it's really been about uh, understanding our market. We're really promoting our brand here, the Reserve in Toledo. And um, the Thursday at one point was four hours. The uh, inmates in the asylum said, we want it to be five hours, so we said, okay. I think that was an awesome addition, that extra hour. Yep. 
And who knows, could be uh, some day soon. Bros, this might be a five hour, or we're maybe a fourth day. Things continue to uh, evolve here at the reserve. So much has happened in just a short amount of time. Meanwhile, big hand alert here. Queens versus Ace King. We are all in for $279. Buddha with the ladies. Andrew, been quiet. Wakes up with Ace King. Gets all his money in. We've got a classic race here, guys. The computer knows which cards are folded, so we can see Buddha with 68%. Normally, that's a little closer to 50-50. No help on the flop. Clean turn. Ooh. Oh, and he hits the king. You see, he stood up, right? Yeah, he did stand up, and I didn't want to jinx anybody, but I was going to say that Andrew is overdue tonight. And so he he's able to take down that pot. Here is the total chip count for each player and the VPIP for tonight. Really seems like the players are more interested in the VPIP. <laughs> More than, than, <laughs> than the chip stacks. Than the chip stacks. <laughs> and uh, this is a $500 buy, and this is actually a $200 to $500 buy, and the Thursday night is a $500 buy. And on Thursday nights now, starting at 8 o'clock, uh, two hours into the live stream or less, the players are allowed to top off at 1,000. In this game, it's just uh, you're just allowed to top off at 500 at any given point, or if you get if you get felted, then you come back in for 500. Yeah, and that's really a conscious effort to keep this game manageable for our yes. regular players. And yep, so it's a nice addition. I really enjoyed the stream. If you, if you allow players to match the stack or add on, you're going to box out a lot of the players that play this. And I think we found a happy medium. I think so too. I think if you look at the what the reserve brings to the Midwest with poker, the range of tournaments on a seven-day basis that are available, and it is about, you know, regular Joes. And here we go, five-handed into this flop. And Enrig just flopping the best of it again. Wow. Trip fours, ace kicker. See, reserve Bob does flop. Jack High Flush Draw. Going to keep him interested. But I, if I know Bob, it's going to be expensive by the time it gets back to him. Well, it looks like I don't know Bob. He just flat calls. So we're going to go three ways to this turn. Two of spades doesn't change anything. Gene's still going to bet his top pair. Didn't pick up on the strength from N right behind him. It's hard to it's hard to do that with the wide range N right is going to play here. Going to call just call again, and this is giving Bob a good price to play. Going to chase his flush draw. Three ways to a river. And there it is. Reserve Bob takes the lead with the nine of clubs. Gives him the check mark. As flush comes home, let's we'll see how he decides to play it. He leads out here. His hand is kind of face up, but you don't want those players to check behind you either. 250. A lot of hands beat Gene here. Oh. Makes a good discipline fold. Oh. 
Bob Enright is really either very happy about this bet or uh, not. <laughs> I think he senses where he's at here. Yeah. Let's see if he can make the correct fold. I, I <coughs> Don't think I could fold this hand either. He calls. And Bob just continues to add to that chip lead. Gonna put him well over the three thousand dollar mark now. Oh my god. Jack six. Jack six. Jack six. Think Enright really regretting not not raising either of those streets. I don't know if he could have gotten Bob out or not, but now we'll never know. So we had a conversation earlier about the bankroll. Uh, I like the comment about 1% uh, of your worth or whatever that is or having coming up with a number. And here is a prime reason to be able to understand what you can afford to play because we have seen Bob Enright on fire uh, for a few weeks, and now we're having a tough time and we so we've seen the uh, opposite for for MGM Bob where um, he's really had a couple of uh, tough weeks here and suddenly you know he's he's making up some ground yeah it's not uncommon for a poker player to be down 10 15 buy-ins before they you know start to even more i mean that 10 15 it sounds terrible but those downswings really can go on and on and you have to be able to withstand that yeah He's got a four in his hand. What the fuck? He had an ace with it. Summertime hand. Just be glad I didn't have a fucking king for it. Just me and you. Yeah, Wesley, just give us a call here. The Reserve Poker Club, Toledo, Ohio. We're at 5105 Glendale Avenue. If you're going to be in town, particularly if you can get out ahead of uh, your calendar and how that matches up with some of the special events we've got coming up. Wow. Then, um, by all means, give us a call. It's so simple. Yeah, just give Marissa a call. She loves to hear a new, a new voice on the phone signing up for those live streams. So, again, they do fill up weeks in advance sometimes, but don't let that deter you. We do have last-minute cancellations. People have a change of plans. So, get on that list if you are interested. Three dollars. $15. There's Madden raising it up with the ace deuce suited. Folds around to Andrew, I think, who makes the call with queen ten of diamonds. Bob comes along with queen seven. We're going to go five ways to a flop. Eight ace jack rainbow. All in for 86. Madden gonna get the last 86 dollars of his stack in the pot. Bob with just queen high. <laughs> He's got a gut shot here. Does he? So he may, yeah, king ten. I'm, I'm looking at reserve Bob. I, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, the other Bob now. And Andrew, oh, that's Andrew with Queen Ten. Yeah, we were all mixed up there. The yeah. The and the only other person with an ace is uh, Gene. Well, you just won't leave shit late, will you? <laughs> 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 and giggle. What did I tell you earlier? Yeah. And Gene gets out of the way. Gets the other ace to fold. My oh my! So we've got an all-in here from Madden, and there's still two players that can create a side pot. That other ace folding is really big for Madden. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Side, no, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't have enough to... Yeah, I didn't see the single, so I just gave it just right. And that... Check. Oh. Great card for Madden. <laughs> <Yeah>. Now, <laughs> now he wants that ace five in there. Check. Gets the check mark. Check it all the way around. And Madden starts to make up a little bit of ground here. Only uh, less than a half an hour here in the live stream. This is our uh, Thursday, our Saturday night staple. 
the regular Joe Poker Show. The next live stream will be Tuesday night. That's a five-hour, five, five, ten, no limit hold'em cash game, one thousand to two thousand dollar buy-in and a match the stack. And that game has been running big. This Tuesday, special guest announcer, better known as Concrete Dave, will be coming in. And I'm just going to take an opportunity to uh, do a little self-promotion here on Tuesday night. The reason I won't be here, my wife and I will be uh, guest bartending at Manhattan's on Adams Street. And we're doing that to uh, benefit the Toledo Lady Celtics, the ladies rugby team here. My wife uh, played a few seasons on that not too long ago, and now my daughter Eve plays with that team. I didn't know that. I knew you were you had the night off, but so uh, Very cool. more or less the night off. Uh, be schlepping uh, drinks, well, yeah, and all the tips will go to the Toledo Lady Celtics rugby team here in Toledo. I had an opportunity to talk with Eve a little bit about rugby. Rugby, she is very passionate about it. Yes, yeah, she is, and it's just a great uh, community um, of ladies that are also passionate about it. Rugby, a great game, great sportsmanship in that game. I have to admit my ignorance. I don't know much about the game. Yeah, I didn't know much about it either. And uh, a few years ago, or pre-COVID, actually. And my wife had the opportunity to take a look at it and then played, uh, wound up playing three seasons here in Toledo, four seasons, which was over the course of about a year and a half. And it is, it's a great game. See, but anyway, that's where I will be on uh, Tuesday night. If you are local here and you have the chance to stop into Manhattan's on Adams Street, greatly appreciate it. Don't want it to cut into your poker playing, though. <laughs> See more and more uh, male rugby players uh, making the transition to the NFL. I just saw another news story about it recently. I could, don't remember the player offhand, but he just signed a NFL deal. Buddha raising up with ace eight. Denny now is going to call with pocket tens. The reserve Bob absent. Seven five suited. I think he would have played that hand here. Raised to a hundred. Can't help but look at the K K2 Bill. Kill Bill 2? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I like it. I'm easily distracted. It's a good film. I love Quentin Tarantino. Oh, so it looks like we have three way action here. Well, uh, actually, yeah. If, uh, if these two players make this call. Nope, oh. Bill's going to get out of the way, so we're going to go heads up. Still in the ins and outs of the commentating booth. i got to remember to wait until all those graphics have updated. <laughs> <laughs> Good flop for Denny's Pocket 10. 7, 4, 8. Rainbow. 150. And Gene takes the lead with $150, and Denny snap shoves all in. with just two overs to the board. Yeah. Can I get every ounce of TV time here? We put on a fucking show for him tonight. Oh yeah, for the fucking Saturday <laughs> 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 Gotta love Bob. Gotta love Bob. <laughs> Gotta love Bob. I thought Gene was just Hollywood in here, but he looks like he's putting a lot of thought into this call. You can see he does have five outs to improve. With a preflop raise to 100 and Denny making that call, yeah. um, you've got to put him on a, a pair bigger than the board rather than some type of drawing hand. Yeah, or even he's Denny's not going to be making the, the call here pre-flop with 6-9, you know, 9-10. Not, not very often. I, I don't know what Gene's thinking about here, to be honest. I don't either. I, I'm, I am a little surprised as well. Reserve Bob on the stream. Reserve Bob. Because that's what the 
created you. Has to be on the they copy. created you for me. It's well, not yeah, like I it's, know. you know, just another hundred to call. It's a significant raise. Yeah. There you go. All right. Gets out of the way. I think, she, I think you just wanted Nikki to count it all before he folded. So, Alan, I know you were watching uh, on Thursday night, and you saw what an incredible game we had for a 1-3 game tonight for the regular Joe Poker Show. Maybe for the regular Joe Poker Show, one of the more active Saturday nights we've had. It's just been some great action. The story of the night has been uh, that MGM Bob is no longer MGM Bob. He's Reserve Bob. And with his new handle, he's just having an incredible night here. It's been a tough night for uh, Bob Enright. Buddha doing pretty well, as you can see. He has not re-upped. He started with the original $500 buy-in. Denny, who had a very slow couple hours, now having a really good night. Andrew, tough night for him. And then we've had uh, four players uh, felted. Four, five, four, four players yeah. felted and uh, headed for home. As you say that Andrew's had a bad night, he wakes up with pocket tens and look at the look at the hand behind him. Oh boy. We got a big hand of brewing here because yes, we do. Madden's going to push all in with Ace Jack of Diamonds right into Enright's Queens and Andrew's tens. Now, lucky for Andrew, if Bob raises here, he can get he can get rid of his tens with only losing his fifty dollar initial raise. But that's easier said than done. Andrew's had a bad night. This is the best hand he's seen. See how Enright approaches this. Looks like he's cutting out a call. Call. <coughs> Just flat calls. <coughs> and Andrew says, why am I surprised? I've been running bad all night. Finally wake up with a premium pocket pair and all this action behind me. Now, we have the benefit of seeing the cards, but still, with the way things have been going for Andrew tonight, I, I would not uh, say anything negative about him letting this go. I would not. Um, Enright just calling, and we know how wide of a range he can have. It makes it a little bit more attractive to come along, but... I think at the, the $323 mark, you're going to start to give Bob more credit for a hand. And, uh, yeah, I think, unfortunately, he just he has to put this in the muck and move on. It's hard to do. It's, it, it really is not fun to fold this kind of hand, but... I think if he calls or more likely raises all in, I I think it'll be a, a kind of a move of frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Not a calling situation here, really. Uh, I mean, he's got to put a, put it all in here. Why why would you uh, put in half of your stack and then have to fold after the flop yeah. comes? Yeah. 420. Yeah. I mean, if he's got... Oh, and there it is. There's the all-in. Yep. Yep. And now Gene, somebody asked me if uh, Gene is stuck. Actually, Gene started in with the 500. I don't think he has re-upped at all. And uh, so he's stuck a little bit, but now he's going to put it all in there. And Madden could not be happier. He's going to... Potentially big, big pot here. Now back over to Bob Enright. <laughs> Jack nine, four, ace jack, queen queen, ten four, ten, one point five k in the middle. More to come shortly after Bob calls this all in. We just saw a huge pot, four handed, and we're right back at it. Vic. And we're ba right back at it. Nothing like the power hour here at the Reserve Poker Club when we are live streaming a cash game. And now Nikki's 
going to make sure that this uh, pot is right. I just like this hand enough where I was like, you know what, I'll go with this. I think Angel's going to regret this one tonight. I mean, he, you know, he has two outs to improve, but I think looking back on this, he's going to wish he got away from it. Gene just in there gambling. Yes, he is just gambling. He's in a lot but of But that's, that's not uncharacteristic of Gene. No, no I mean, I, you know, 362 to win 1.6. It's not a terrible gamble. We could see the cards. We know he's in, a, in deep trouble, but... You know, you hope to have two live cards here. I'm sure that was his thinking. We can see the the best hand does have the table covered, so Enright is in position to take down this whole 1.6k pot. Who's all in? He asks everybody but Mr. Enright. No diamonds. Okay, those are good. Who's got the queen? Madden saying his diamonds are live. Enright. Enright. Good job, Enright. Good luck to you, buddy. Good luck to all you guys. I'll give you 30 bucks. Nice job, Nikki. Love this view. Pot's right. Shut up. Well done. And here it comes. The burn and the flop. Oh, okay. <laughs> eight, nine, seven. Pairs the seven. Eight. And that's it. 1.6K going to go to Enright. Exciting flop. But man, oh, man. And, ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, just an incredible Saturday night regular Joe Poker Show. I'm here with my good friend Nick, a.k.a. Nick the Dealer, a.k.a. Tarantula Nick, and a.k.a. great commentating job here nicknames. calling the action with nicknames. me. Appreciate it. Yeah, too many nicknames. Yep. And a lot of discussions tonight as to whether you're to allowed to create your own nickname or not. Poor, uh, poor MGM Bob now wants to be called Reserve Bob and get nothing but grief about, about it. That's a fair request. We'll see if it sticks. That's that's the kind of the longevity test. Yeah, you know. But again, thank you very much. Our next uh, live stream will be this uh, Tuesday night. That's a five-hour live stream. That is a, a five-five-ten no limit hold'em cash game, one thousand to two thousand. We have got so much coming your way, and the big one, of course, three-year anniversary tournament series, April nineteenth through the 28th, five events to choose from, from two, and then culminating in the $250,000 guaranteed main event. Let's take a minute here. Let's tick, tick off. Uh, let's go down the list here let's of each it. one of these. And the first one is the kickoff event on the 19th. That's a $50,000 prize pool guarantee. And then the next one, I guess I'll take this one real quick because it's more yeah. applicable. The seniors <laughs> event, and uh, this is 50 and older, and uh, we've always had a great turnout for our seniors event. Take us to the next one, Nick. Yeah, after that we got our 10,000 guaranteed, $125, one re-entry. A lot of players really enjoy that, one re-entry only. Just want to mention real quick that $50,000 kickoff event, you do have four starting flights to choose from. And then uh, a room favor, the $10,000 guaranteed team event, $250 per team. That is a dual tournament team event. Uh, the $10,000 guaranteed double green chip bounty, $50 bounties for $175 buy-in. Every knockout worth $50. And as Vic said, it all culminates in the $250,000 main event guarantee. Six starting flights to choose from. $50,000 guaranteed for first. We are currently running satellites every Thursday for that event. I believe those are $30 buy-ins for the satellites? Yes, I believe. $40, $40, $40. buy-ins. And we just had one Thursday night, and I believe there were six players uh, that got uh, vouchers for the $250,000 main event. So you're looking at a $50,000 guarantee first place. Come to a satellite, invest $40.00. It can, and it may happen. We've, uh, seen, we've here seen it time and time again, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In the meantime, thank you again, everybody, for joining us, and we hope that you have a wonderful holiday tomorrow. We are closed for Easter, and um, as always, thanks again, buddy. Greatly appreciate it, and everybody, please be safe. Happy Easter, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.